بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هالو and welcome people to footy judge more what a day what an epic day of football absolutely brilliant we witnessed 10 goals in one day in two games we're Arsenal robbed we'll talk about it but absolutely Arsenal were very disappointing that's for Mo that's for Mo right but I said that Bayern actually have the experience Bayern have this Bayern have that and they did and we're going to be joined a lot by a lot of people, of course. We're going to be joined by a lot of people. And Manchester City, to be honest, individual brilliance saved them. This is why Manchester City are the best team in the world still. Yes, you tell me this, you tell me that. But Manchester City went to the Bernabeu and came back from behind. Manchester City was 3-2 up. And then they drew the game, advantage Manchester City. Bayern Munich said they were robbed. Thomas Tuchel said they were robbed. Arsenal fans say they were robbed. But I think actually the game ended in a draw as, as, as like, I think it was fair, to be honest. But I thought that Arsenal overall were disappointing, in my opinion. They should have played better. Their defense was wide open. I actually think that Bayern created better chances than Arsenal in this game. They had chances behind Arsenal's defense. I thought that Arsenal... We're not in control the majority of the game. This is, the, I'm not going to tell you I told you so and all this stuff, but that's the difference between playing in the league and playing against experienced players in the Champions League. Again, it's Thomas Tuchel, who is good in knockout stages. Again, it's people like Lorizani, Kimmich, Goretzka, uh, Serge Gnabry, and all these people. Arsenal should have taken advantage with Eric Dyer playing at the back and Delic. Arsenal should have taken advantage. I'm actually thinking that now it's advantage by a minute, but I'm going to get that the guys think. For Manchester City, we know Manchester City will smash Real Madrid at the Etihad. It's a given. It's done. Manchester City are already in the semi-final of the Champions League. And we'll talk about it. But I'm here, of course, with Saad, Brandon, Dio, Martin, and Patrick is going to be here. Hamza, is going to be joining us, of course. And for the first time on the channel, we have a non-Premier League fan with me. Ahmed is here. Bayern fan, as you can see, is going to talk all about it. And I just want to actually speak about... I actually had no idea about this Bayern incident until Thomas Tuchel said it, about this penalty or not penalty. But listen, people, 250 people and we're just starting. Like the video, the target is... 500 likes live on the air and then 600 to 700 likes on the replay so if you're watching this now hit that like button today now at the current moment hit that like button underneath your live chat and super chats i'm gonna stop in the middle and do all the super chats i'm gonna respond because i want to give time to each and every single super chat and it's only fair to start with the guest the new guest ahmed to be honest well, first of all, before I begin, uh, Eid Mubarak to everyone who is Muslim. I mean, it's Eid, so that's for one. Uh, to In regard to the game, um, I personally thought that in the start, I think, like, I thought Arsenal were actually playing their football, and they forced Davies and Dyer into so many errors. I think Davies doesn't look like he wants to be here. He looks like he wants to go to Madrid. Good luck. See you later. You know what I mean? Dyer, I don't get why Tuchel starts him every week, but he does. He thinks like Dyer is the best center back in our club, when in reality he's not. He's the worst. He's a statue, you know. And uh, yeah, so the first goal uh, when Saka scored it, first of all, nice ball from Adi Gar towards from the right side. Our defense had the debacle, Davies and Dyer and everybody. I thought Norris' positioning was off, and so it, both goals. Uh, I thought Dyer was off position for both goals that they scored. And uh, in general, as the team, I thought, yeah, we were literally just trying to take advantage of Arsenal's mistakes. Because even though Arsenal tried to play their football, you can tell that they left their back line more open in this game than they've done in any other Premier League game that they've had recently. And it showed. I thought Kivior for Arsenal was a target for us and proven to be for the first goal. He gave the ball away. Sonny takes advantage. Gnabry score, although I'll surprise you celebrated. I, I, I'm shocked. You see, if you're, uh, what do you guys think of Gnabry celebrating? That, that Can I, before part? I go on, I wanted to ask you something before I go I on to the know. Arsenal guys. Ahmed, in short answer, 
Was yeah. this the Arsenal that everyone hyped before the game? Was this the Arsenal that you're, I think one of your board spoke about a, ho a horror game going to the Emirates and it's one of the best teams in the world. Was this the Arsenal that you predicted as a Bayern fan? <sighs> to be honest, I kind of predicted it, yes. Uh, I felt like Arsenal fans were overgassing the fact that they're playing against us based on the fact that their league form is very dominant. Let's not lie. They're, they're, they've been defensively sharp. But I feel like they underestimate us because of our form, which I get that. Our form hasn't been great. But on top of that, like I feel like they don't understand how Champions League works. Man. I, I don't think they get it. And I, for me, I predicted that we were going to lose today. I thought we were going to lose like 2-1 or something. We turned out 2-1 up in half time. I don't know how that happened. You know what I'm saying? So it's one of those now. We should be winning. We should be going through, you know, to the Allianz with one goal diff margin. And now we're drawing 2-2. I'll take it, but the way the game planned out, I, I was kind of annoyed. Uh, sad. Why are you so sad, bro? Cheer up. You drew two, two, two by, to the mighty Bayern Munich. It's all right. Last time you played them, you got smashed. So, Mo, you see the way Mo does that, yeah? You see the way Mo does I mean, that. Look at him. He can't even stop the smile. He can't even stop the smile on his just face. Just seeing you put smile on my face, bro. Just now, seeing you listen, put smile on my face, bro. The, the, thing, the thing is, for me, I'm just... I've seen my team this season be resolute at the back. They were... They looked mature. I was on the top six show on Monday saying, bro, these, these defenders, this back line, the way they, the way they defend... It's so mature, so calm, so composed, collected. They always hold a good shape. And they always look out for each other. And for them to come out in this game and so sh show such naivety against Bayern Munich, who is a team that has the experience, and like they showed today, only need a couple of chances. They only need one or two chances. They'll do you quick. Bang. Gone. That chance in the back of the net. All it took is one attack from them. And then bang, it's in the back of the net. So it's 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 still a dangerous team. Don't 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 come at them like as if they're something small. Don't 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 act like just because Haddenheim or whoever the team is beat them on the weekend. Haddenheim. Apologies to to the Bundesliga. Yeah, I'm not trying yeah. to disrespect the team. <laughs> I'm not trying to disrespect. I'm not trying to disrespect the team. I don't watch Bundesliga a lot, so I apologize for that. But um, Heidenheim. I uh, just because Heidenheim beat them. Do you think that it's going to be easy? You know, you can do these lackluster passes. You don't have to focus too much. You have to be on point. This is the Champions League now. You're you're playing against these teams that have been well drilled in this competition. Bayern Munich, this is all they have left. This is all they have left. They are going to throw the kitchen sink at it. So you should have been prepared for that. You shouldn't have been as exposed as we were at the back. We shouldn't have put too many players forward. I felt like too many times when we had we had um, free kicks and corners, players weren't going back quick enough when they got the ball back, when Bayern got the ball back. As soon as Bayern get the ball back, centre-backs, both of them should be sprinting back. Sprinting. Because it, you can't let them have a chance. You can't. And to be honest, today we played very naive. We played um, the occasion rather than the actual game that was meant to be played. And... Listen, we we went two two. We went two two. Now we have to go to the to, to the Allianz Arena, and we have to win. Do you think you'll win? We 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 can we can we can draw and take it to penalties, but I don't know whether the pressure is going to keep on mounting on top of us, a mountain on top of us. Especially when you when you when you sit there and you try and hold for a draw and you try to go to penalties, that pressure is just mad and it just keeps on piling on top of you. Do I think we're going to win? I don't know. I need to see what we do. I need to see what we do against Aston Villa now, whether we can bounce back to see if we can if we can then come back into that game and rectify the mistakes that we made in this game. Kivio should not be playing. Kivio at left back should not be playing. Tommy Asu should have been the one that came on I agree. to shore up that defence for me. Tommy Asu needed to play in this game. I said it before the game. I said in my predicted lineup, Dale was there. We Majority of us said, Tommy Yasu needs to play in this game. He needs to because he is defensively so solid that he needs to be the one who should play. Um, but listen, we're going to the Allianz Arena. I really hope that this team can learn from their mistakes and they can grow up and they can mature and actually go and win. Uh, if they want to draw, 
that it, it is where it is, but they need to win in order to show to, the, to, to their fans and to show to everybody else in the Champions League that they're serious. They're not here to just mess about. They're not here for a participation <coughs> award. We're here to compete. So they need to go and win, in my opinion. Anyway. Before before the Arsenal, the lesson, I want to ask Patrick something. Who would you rather face? Bayern Munich or Arsenal? I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind, to be honest. Like, like I tell people that when you reach at this stage, right, of the Champions League, there is no escape. You have to be the best. I think last season, uh, people looked at City and they did not take how seriously City was because we went unbeaten and the teams we faced, regardless even that Bayern team, let's be honest, that Bayern team was missing a striker <laughs> because few times they went in our box and they were very dangerous. That's why I was laughing when people were saying, oh, Bayern are going to get slapped. So to be honest with you more, either it's Arsenal or Bayern, I don't mind the two. Uh, both of them can come and hold the smoke. You know what I mean? It is Champions League. Even you're Arsenal confident right against now, both? You're confident no, against both? I'm, Arsenal I'm beat saying, you twice this season. Yeah, but all I'm saying is every team that reaches this stage, there's no escape. You can't say, oh, let me pick this one. Because every team that's here right now is capable of beating you. So both of them can come through. If whichever makes it, we make it. Maybe we might not make it. You never know. Madrid were good also. So it is what it is. Oh, you're smashing Real Madrid, bro. You're smashing nah, Real Madrid. Stop that, more, more. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Are you so serious? He's trying to gas us up. He's trying Hold to on. Us Are up. you serious? You definitely smashing Real Madrid at home. You, you can never you can never be sure in the Champions League. I've seen funny. I've seen City. Yes. Okay. You can never be sure. Bayern can never be sure. But what's the likely outcome? Man City going through. I don't know. I see our odds are very high right now, to be honest. Because I let, let me be honest, I was expecting to go there to get rinsed because it's like this city team and the way uh, Madrid counter and the way they're clinical, maybe we'll get rinsed. But look at it. We managed to ride the storm. Few few mistakes led to the goal, city goals, but we're here. So look, I'm confident, but I, I wouldn't just say 100% that Oh, we are through. I, I've learned we'll, my we'll, 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 we'll chat about Manchester City, of course. We'll touch mm. on the game, which is absolutely was. For the neutral, it was absolutely magnificent. It was one of the best games I've watched in the Champions League, to be honest. But not only because the three-three, because the quality, like the Gavardio goal, the 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 the, the Valverde goal, like absolute high quality football it was absolutely brilliant. Watch, guys, over six hundred of you here, and we aren't even on two hundred likes. That's absolutely embarrassing, people. We need to get three hundred likes right now at the current moment. Right now at the current moment. Who wants to go for Arsenal? I don't know who wants to 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 have their say. Dio, go ahead. I mean, I'm I'm just going to start by saying I think like the magnitude of the events got the best of them as well. Um, that's one of the first things I'll say. But the second thing I want to the first the other person I want to put the lay blame at his feet. And I was should I say blame because they, they didn't play well enough to win. That's the first thing. Arsenal did not play well enough to win. Who deserved to win the game? I think I think that game deserved to be a, a tie game, and I'll tell you why. It was individual Arsenal mistakes that cost us our goals. Individual mistakes that cost yep. us our goals, right? So, and Arteta's um, I, the blame is on Arteta's feet for me in this game. The way he set us up to play, he showed us that he can play a deep block. He showed us that he can play a mid block. The way he set us up in this game was to go all out and leave our defenders exposed. With as good as our defense has been all season. And how good we've been playing defensively for you to go ahead and play that. And I, I said this yesterday when I was beside in the stream. I don't know who else was there. We're all in, in the stream. And I said, your league form does not translate out the Champions League. It's different. It's knockout. You can be the... We've seen teams that are sixth position go on to win the Champions League. We've seen teams like Dynamo Kiev back in the day come to win the Champions League out of nowhere. Don't forget Chelsea. Well, Porto, Chelsea. Chelsea was Chelsea, third out of the yeah, point. Yeah, the manager we have. Yeah. <laughs> so my thing is like, you, the Champions League is a different beast. And if you go set up that way, you set the boys up to open up, even though you know your strongest point is your defense. I told Saad yesterday, I said, if I'm if I'm a Teta, I'm leaning on my strongest point, which is defense at home. Looking for that counter because we know in transition, the boys are good and they can counter. Can I interrupt that? I don't actually think that that would ever be the right plan, right? Like in the lead up to this, everyone it, was saying, Bayern are there for the taking. You have to win 2-0 so that yeah. you can go to the Allianz with the lead. Mo's doing posts about us winning the double, being better than the treble. Like, it's not Arsenal fans that are getting ahead of ourselves. It's everyone going, okay, Bayern are shit. Arsenal should win. And if we go into that game with a low block oh, I disagree. or a mid block... I disagree. I disagree. I think some of your fans were getting ahead of yourselves, to be honest. Absolutely. I mean, that happens every time. Every fan base has fans that get ahead of themselves. We have a lot of them. And, you know, we see a lot of them online. But... 
there was no reason we should have come into that defensively, in my opinion. But I know, but, but, but yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying always lean on your strongest point. If, if you go into any fight or any battle, you lean on your strongest point. And our strongest point was defense. I told the, I told the Bayern fan, I was on the stream the other day, and I told the Bayern fan, I said, you guys don't score at the Emirates if we lean on our strongest point. If, if, we, if we play the way we should play defensively, you don't score. But because we didn't play that way, we opened up. And then individual mistakes. If we had gone with a low block and they've got no fans, they're coming to the Emirates, right? I like, know. I'm not. See, we have to go here, 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 here's my point. I'm not saying don't go at it. I'm saying le so you can. Oh, yeah. Boom. Got it. Uh, I'll, I'll speak for him because I actually agree with him. Uh, what he's trying to say is, yeah, when you're playing in a Champions League, you need to stick to your game. I remember when uh, we but won the Champions not League. our game, right? Like, we well, there's a strong game. point, but we spend most of the time with the ball and dominate teams in possession in their third. That's how we get the most results. So I, I don't want to hear... I, I, I agree with you. Stuff. When I when I when I say low block, I don't mean we just go sit back and defend. No, I'm saying let first the first thing you want to do is lean on your strongest point, find mm -hmm. your openings, and then unleash the boys on them. If you score one goal and you lean on your defense for another 15, 20 minutes, and they realize they can't break you down, you counter again, score another goal. Like you can do this in spells of 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 minutes. I'm not saying play a low block throughout the entire 90 minutes because you don't want Bayern to score. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying we're a defensively strong team. If we had made them feel like they couldn't cut through our defense, they would have been de first they're demoralized. They don't have fans there, right? That's that's already one level of demoralization. Secondly, you stop them from actually cutting through your defense. You know, don't make no individual stupid errors. If you don't, well, do that's that, it, right? Like the errors yeah. are the problem. Yeah, so and those errors. Still people yeah, are making errors why, today that haven't made errors that much throughout the entire season. season like, yeah, which is, what, Gabriel which is why like I said, which is why I said that, the, which is why I said that the occasion got the best of them. Which is probably what made the, you know force the errors, or better still, Bayern played a game where forced them into errors. But for me, Dario, can I ask you something, Dario? Before I forget, everybody yeah. keeps saying I didn't watch your game, and uh, like I'm sorry, I didn't watch your game because I don't know why they keep putting games at the same time instead of separating such good Everyone games. Uh, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll just I'll just ask something. Everybody keeps saying from the football test and here, no fans. So you tell me, Bayern had zero fans in the stadium. They only, no, had, no, no, they only had they only had they only had two hundred. I saw a few Bayern fans at the ground. Yeah, that they only had, they were given. They were giving 200 VIP family and friends of, I think, the players. Like, people yeah, were yeah. 200 VIP family so, and friends. And that's it? Yeah, they were yeah. banned. They were, yeah, they were yeah, there was a couple banned. of those that were given tickets because uh, they already wow. had So you had the opportunity to have the whole... The whole, yeah, which is what I'm saying. Like, I want to get Brandon and Hamza, but I want to yeah. add something. So, so Anybody me, that comes in... Hold on, Darren. Anyone yeah. that comes here and say Arsenal... I think the only thing that you can look at today is that Arsenal underestimated Bar Munich. The likes of Muziala, the likes of Zani, the likes of Harry Kane. You guys thought you were playing against Burnley. You guys thought you were playing against Jaro Bowen. The difference between Arsenal, just let me finish, Dain, which is the same that Pep Guardiola used to do sometimes. The difference between these players and the majority of the players you play in the league is the quality of them bypassing your press. You talk about individual mistakes, yes, but how many times Bayern got out of your press and went three on three? And they fluffed their lines. How many times Bayern had two on two and they fluffed their lines? Is How many times half Sani, first half? in the first half? First half, first half, first half. And I'm going to tell you the difference in the first half and the second half. In the second half, Arsenal were trying to control the game, but every time Arsenal lost the ball, you did not try to press as high. You kind of had a little bit of a deeper line because he knew I can get punished. That's learning, right? My point is, Arsenal, the majority of the time they play in the league. You don't say it deep. People are fooled by the game they played against Manchester City. People thought, yes, this is the way Arsenal play. No, this is not the way Arsenal play. Arsenal are the third in terms of ball position in the Premier League or fourth, if I'm not mistaken. Right? People have to understand that Arsenal went to this game. They tried to play their game and just didn't work. And they adapted. I think we, we saw something. I'll just throw this in there. I think we saw that we were actually too defensive because Kivior is a, a chosen Thanks. to defend. Yeah, I think that we made the wrong selection at left back to start Forget the game. That. For, we Martin, didn't have the control of the game. Not about, it's not about the personnel, man. Yeah, it's not about what the personnel. It's about the positioning on the pitch. You were literally three on three about three, four times, Martin. But no, I, but the I, goals I, came I, from like... But I said that. But, 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 but Martin, you're talking players, about right? the goals. I'm talking about the incident where they run through your midfield. That's what I said. I, I, but but you, see, Mo, Mo, you remember the first thing I said? I said, I laid the blame on our test for the way he set us up because that's what allowed them to play us that way. If we had mm -hmm. leaned on what we were good at, exactly what I said, if we had gone the other route, 
What, what do you mean? You wanted to defend at the not Emirates? Defend, not right, defend. Can I oh my God. say one thing, right? Can I say one thing, right? So I'm going to put this to perspective for all of you guys. Leroy Sané has been pathetic second half of the season. The amount of space he got for you guys to like open him up and make that run through. You know what I'm saying? You let Leroy Sané, who has been, been awful second half of the season, just run through like it was nothing. At some point, that's, he should That's have what I'm saying. Home. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's, 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 there's no way you set up that way against because I knew I watched a bunch of Bayern games and I was like, if we if we play in mid block against Bayern, like in the middle of the pitch, we control the ball, we don't allow them to get yeah, it, and then we yeah. and then we unleash Martinelli and unleash Bukayo Saka every now and then, yeah. and we're able to get a goal or two. Boom. Because Do you want the truth, Dio? Because let me he tell you, thought, if, listen. Yeah, if we ahead. went out, if we went out there, which is what Ateta did today, to set up to go to go up against them, and you open up and you give people like Leroy Sani, who, when they played Hoffenheim, um, uh, at the weekend went two zero down, and those guys came back three. Like, go go look at that game, go look at that game and see what happened. Like in the first half, Hoffenheim were giving them space. That's why they scored the two goals. You gave them enough space to be able to, to pop those two goals in. Of course, they came back and won. My point is, if you give Bayern the chance, Bayern will hurt you. Forget the fact that they are doing badly in their league. Forget, and they are not doing badly, they're second. But forget the fact that they're not playing to the oh levels God, of Bayern. Sure, man, I, I want to get Brendan and Hamza now, no, but I'm no. just going to say one thing. Hamza is keeping his hair more. <laughs> I know. Hamza? What is he doing? Oh, okay. It's your... He's but let me, I want to get Brendan. Always call me bold fraud. Yeah, I want to get, I wanna get Brandon stick. I, have I just want to guys tell you one thing, guys. <laughs> Arsenal saw that Gabriel and Saliba can handle Bayern attack like they handle everybody else in the league. The, the, the bottom line of this is Arteta thought, my guys, I trust this defense so much that they can handle one-on-ones. They can handle the Sanis. They can handle this. And they couldn't. They couldn't. By the way, this could have been a catastrophe if you guys went 3-1 down, by the way. It could have been a catastrophe. If Lori Zani scored that one-on-one -on -one from halfway line, it could have been a catastrophe for Arsenal. Brandon, mm. let me know what you think. I think the bottom line is we're too emotional. Manager and players played the occasion, not the game. And that's the problem. Because we are better than this Bayern side. Believe it or not, we are better than this Bayern side. Right? But like I say, we played the occasion and not the game. Because really and truly, right, we go 1-0 up. And rather than trying to control the possession, control the game, let Bayern come to you, you know, take your chances when you get your chances. And we ben White, that, to... that chance of Ben White could have been 2-0 game, game. Exactly. And we, we were still over. trying... Game over. Over. We were still... Not, not one game over. But we, was, we, were still trying to, we were still trying to force it. We were still trying to open up and leave spaces in behind, which led to the errors. And like you say, Ben White should have put that chance away, right back or not. You I know, think it would have been offside. Actually, I, don't I agree with you. I, Actually, like I, think, White... I think you're right, Martin. I think it would have been. Now I remember because I watched it again and I think it was going to be offside. Well, either way, either way. Errors should... happen. But the chance is there, put in the goal and then let, let VAR decide. Not Exactly. You. So, you know, if and, and let's just say, let's just say he's not offside and we go 2 0 up. I think that's a different game altogether. I don't think you see the mistakes that we made happen um, if we go 2-0 up. So, again, it just shows to me that the manager and the players haven't really learned the emotional element that comes in the Champions League from the Porto game because we was, we was very much the same against Porto. Everybody expected us to go there, slap them up because of their league form all this, that and the other, and it ended up being a, a, a really difficult game. Same against Bayern, right? The only difference between Bayern and Porto is Bayern have players that can hurt you. You cannot give these players chances. Musiala, Sane, Gnabry, Kane, yeah? They even have players on the bench that can hurt you. And yeah. the problem is, right, is again, <laughs> I'm very, very disappointed because of the errors that we made. Yeah, the errors that we made that led to goals, it wasn't really like Bayern had to do anything to create the chances that they they got given. Yeah. We gifted them to, it to them, um, and yeah, we should we should be winning that game. I'm, I'm I'm very 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 disappointed. 
I think we fucked up because, and it started from the the, the starting eleven for me. Like the guys were just saying, Kivior shouldn't have started. Tommy Asu should have. People will say, oh yeah, but what's the difference? Kivior's done all right for Arsenal this season. Tommy Asu. The difference is, is Tommy Asu's played in the Bundesliga. The difference is Tommy Asu has played against Bayern Munich. Okay, it's not in the Champions League, but he has that experience. Kivior doesn't, right? And we know that Tommy Asu is a lot more defensively sound as well. I think that was the first error that um, Arteta made. I think the second error as well, and people are going to probably think I'm harsh for saying this, Gabriel Jesus should have, should have started up front because for as poor as he's been in the Premier League... Aren't you saying that in hindsight? No. No, I'm not saying it in hindsight. I said it before the game as well. For as poor as he's been in the Premier League, especially of recent, you know, he didn't have a great game um, on the left wing the other day. In the Champions League, Gabriel Jesus has been doing the business for Arsenal. He's been scoring for Arsenal. In the Champions League this season, he's one of our top goal scorers. He, so he's he's been the one that steps up in the game. So, And you see it when he come on as well. He offered that, that little bit of a spark. Whereas as I didn't really think Havertz was in the game at all. He was trying to lump long balls up to him, hope that he would kind of hold the ball up a little bit, bring others into play. But when Jesus came on and he's playing in the middle, he's dropping deep, he's, he's you know, connecting the players and we created one or two chances from that. So, you know, and, and of course he's, he helped to uh, uh, get Trossard on the score sheet as well. But yeah, disappointing though, mm. because I'll be, I'll be completely real. It's going to be very difficult for Arsenal to go through now. Is it a failure if Arsenal don't go through? Short answer. I think so. Sure. I think so. Because mm. again, this, this game tonight, was there for the taking. You know, Bayern Munich only scored because of individual errors that we made. I don't know what the hell David Rea is doing on the fucking halfway line for that first goal. <laughs> well, <laughs> is that, is that clear the ball? Like, we play funny. a very high line. <laughs> Again, that, but that Gabriel is, intercepted it, and that, then he passed it between Kivior and Jorginho right to Sane, who's just sitting there going, yeah. well, thanks for the charity, Again, guys. Like, that what the is, hell yeah, is going on? Is that is Goretzka, Goretzka threw the defence down. Yeah, it's too easy. That is an example of a player who got too emotionally caught up in the occasion. Where is that? Yeah, yeah. Not Which player, play. though? Like, I don't think that's Raya's fault. Even if it was it wasn't, his fault yeah. out, I no think it's more on Kivior. And Gabriel, communication. On, and communication as well. Hang on, hang on. Gabriel had that situation under control. David Raya did not need to be Ga there. Yeah? And this is, this, is, this is where it becomes a point where you have to look at these players and go, you've got emotionally caught up in, 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 in the occasion and not played the game. I've, I haven't seen Gabriel and Saliba play as poorly as what they have tonight in a long time, bro. Welcome to UCL, brothers. This is what happened yeah. to City. And this is used to the game. Someone's yeah. mic is absolutely... So I yeah. look at it... Is that mic? No. Oh, oh, I look at it, and I think there's there's a few places to blame, uh, to, to, to put the blame. I think Mikel Arteta's starting lineup was slightly incorrect. Um, and I that, don't think so. Know. I think that's in hindsight. I actually think it no, it's not in there. hindsight, bro. It's not in hindsight. You guys, you guys hype to me asses so much. But to Tommy had no match like, fitness. Tommy, so uh, yeah, yeah. Tommy has, hasn't it. played enough this season. You guys, I'll be honest. I have to explain to you. Tommy yeah, I get what you're to. saying, but he hasn't played enough, uh, Brandon. You're he hasn't just, played enough minututes recently. He hasn't played enough minutes Bayern recently to league. start a game in this magnitude. Hamza, Hamza, and then we're going to go to the penalty incident. Hamza. Talk to me, Man City, Arsenal. Talk to me, Hamza. Heritage, we know, we know it's coming. <laughs> Monologue is coming. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> started. Well, let me first. Let me just kiss that back. Mwah. Ah, I love this man. Go back to shaving Thank your head. Listen, did you just kiss a today? Universe? Today, we flew this flag of this country today again, once again. Like going to the Bernabeu before the game, wow. Madrid fans were. Making empty threats. Oh, we will see you. Revenge today. They called it revenge night. Yeah. Ike Casillas said they must show the revenge. They have to show the desire. This is the two best team in Europe in the last 10 years. Fact. They said it. And coming to the game, they asked for favors. We want all our fans to come out there. White shirts, white handkerchiefs. I thought, oh, money, little Z. Why are you scared? 
Why do you need to come up with white shirts and, and white handkerchiefs? Really? I'm only, I'm, I'm only man C. I got 115 charges. You you guys say that to them. They said we have to make it intimidating. How they made it intimidating for us. Rodrigo said it. How we had it intimidating. And you know what? Then they called up. They begged for UEFA. Please shut the roof. Shut the roof. I said, oh, no escape here now. No way. You can't escape. They've shut the roof. The doors are closed. That's it. It's war out here. I thought, oh my God. Okay. Then I looked at my team. Hmm. My team were weak. <laughs> I woke her out. I came out. I was told, Vard is not fully fit. KDD's got a cold. I had flu or something. I had Edison out. I'm the out. I said, what? Really? In the burnabout? They've made those threats. Surely they have to deliver now. The Real Madrid, you can say, the Real Madrid, oh, the, the heritage of the world. Oh, no, 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 no. Everyone dreams to play like them. Then I said, okay, fine. I'm so nine days rest. Nine days rest. Nine, nine days. days rest. Even Ali can say, <laughs> weekend off, weekday off, relax. Go to the beach. Relax in Sevilla. Go to Andalusia. Mwah. Go to Tunisia, Morocco. Relax. I thought, ah, I'm grinding out here more. Grinding on Sellers Park. Grinding out against my teta. Before that was grinding at Aston Villa. They were watching me and say, ah, hands up at the beach. I'm going to wait for you. I said, fine. Whoa. Let's go. We can see inside. I look at my bench with Mo. Ha! Ah, Mo, wallahi. Guess what? I've been telling you guys, I've not eaten this year. I've suffered. Look at my bench. Well, like there was 11 men. 11 men. They have 11. Patrick, we are 10. Empty seat next to Oscar Bob. Oscar Bob was putting his feet there. I said, ah, hey, that's how bad we are. Oscar Bob sitting there. Yeah. Next to him is Rico Lewis. Next to him, Sasuoho. Next to him, Scott Carson. Next to him, Sergio Gomez. Literally, I'm weak. I'm weak. Surely I'm weak now. Get me now. Then I guess what more? We start the game. Bernardo Silva. Class. Burn about when rocking to quiet. <laughs> There's a new boy in town now. It's 2024. No more Alfredo Di Stefano days. You can't take five in a row. <laughs> no more. You ain't got Zidane on the pitch. Let's do it. I got KDB on the bench. Then guess what more? Oh, we had them on ropes. Apologies today. Apologies today. Liverpool have walked in there. They get stripped naked. Spanked. Walking at oh, Anfield. Anfield. I walked there. Pride. But one nil up. Patrick, we've got these guys on ropes. I'm thinking, yo, burn about. You've got the stadium, everyone. Perez says you've got everyone. You've got everything. You've got all the players belling 100 million. Then they come back from the most jokiest I've ever seen. Another Harvard goal, deflected goal. Kai Havertz in Madrid. Yeah? <laughs> come up being a hitter, Kai Havertz. Bang! I'm thinking, oh my God. He doesn't... It gets worse. Counter-attack by Vinicius. Another deflected after. Oh my God. Most teams, by now, you're finished. They're strangling you. Surely, you're taking your last breath. Last oxygen. I see you can't give up. This is Manchester City. You are strong on me. My veins are popping. I'm just about, my pupils are dilated. Oh, scared dead. The master. You hey, Hamza, you're unstoppable. You're uh, Hamza. You are undefeated. Man said. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? Ah, we took a half time. Pep Guardiola said, "Hey, he saw me on Twitter." He saw me. I called him out on Saturday. I said, please get me the trouble. Please, please. All that video, Pep smiled and said, he's one of my guys. This guy's a winner. Hamza's a winner. He knows what I want. Guess what? Half time, most team capitulate. You talking about Bayern Munich, oh, na, 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 pen. Yo, I was fighting the best team in the world, apparently. Yeah? Me and Madrid. You Winning at the Bernabeu is not for everybody. This was the game. This was the game everyone was tuning around the world. <laughs> everyone had me. They said, Hamza, this is great. Ah, guess what? Pep Guardiola doesn't panic. The boys are not. We've been here. We've beaten them before. 
Phil Foden raises his game. Phil Fordinho, English generational talent. When I've had guys who's watched football 60s, I've told me, he reminds me of Paul Gascoigne. Paul Gascoigne, they told me. Paul Gaza. I've never, I didn't, I watched Gaza in Euro 96 when I was a little boy. Yeah? In England, when he flicked it. I thought, wow, in the Bernabeu more. How dare you do that? How dare you? Arsenal fans say, oh, Thierry Henry did this in the Bernabeu. Four days yeah, in the that? Bernabeu. Wonderful. You remember goal. that heritage? What? Heritage. Yeah. That's how you, Foden scores a screamer. But we won. Have some, have some respect because thing. you don't understand you don't the team. players score in the Bernabeu. Hold on. Hold on. That, not yeah, Thierry that, Henry. So don't okay. disrespect Thierry Henry, though. No, don't disrespect he, Thierry Henry. He Listen, he scored a wonderful goal. Yeah. Then yeah, on top of that, him. on top of that, he called him this fraud here, Barbie doll, Barbie doll. I told you about <laughs> Vardio. I told you about Vardio. Now, smile. I said to you, yeah, and Dario, sit down there. You're doing this. You're already stressed. This is European Hamza, night. Hamza, did you know that you drew? Did you know that you guys draw? Did you know that you did a technique draw? Are you aware? Hamza, Hamza, are you aware in your brain? Are you aware in your brain that you drew? This guy's throwing shades on Arsenal. Are you aware? Are you aware that you drew? You have to mention Havertz too. Like, he's obsessed. Are you aware that you drew? Hamza does not have the self-awareness about the draw, bro. What a goal. It's a good result for them, to be honest. Everyone's got all the shout and then they get knocked out at the end. Vinicius taken off because Vinicius was having a shocker. Ahmed don't, bro. Like, Ahmed don't, bro. All <laughs> Madrid were doing, well, like, they were great, diving. Bro. They were diving, looking for... Bellingham should have got a second yellow. Kamaviga should have been suspended. Today was a joke. Referee let them off. Referee let them off. And Vardio, what a compo world-class goal at the Bernabeu. White handkerchiefs is now turning red. Blood bath! I'm but wait, you're bleeding. Ha Hamza, Madrid Hamza, what was the now? Madrid Hamza, are Hamza. Madrid fans are thinking, ah, 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 ah. Man, Hamza, can you speak guess on? What? Can... Guess what? No, one second. You called him Vavido. I said to you, yeah, yeah no, he that's fine. I want, I just Madrid. I told Hamza, you, I just want you to go to him and shock for this guy. That's fine. I would have regretted. That's fine. And I would have, guess what? I would have had another cancel on loan back again. You know, okay, and thank God. Guess what? They came back with a classy goal. Madrid fans who had made empty threats, as my mom said, empty threats means nothing. 3-1, they were predicting 4-1 revenge. Today's City showed masterclass. Vardio, what? I think he should have won man of the match. But Ford also should have won man of the match. And it was impressive. We had like 69% possession in the Bernabeu. Have some shame, English team. How many times you go to the Bernabeu? Rattle Madrid in the Bernabeu. How oh, many yeah, times man. have you gone to the Madrid and rat? Bro, I have, couldn't get the ball. We were popping the ball around. Hey, come on, call out the Spanish prime minister. Come here. These are the guys. I had them on ropes. They were lucky to get a 3-3. But you know what? They had chances. I respect Madrid. I respect Madrid. Did I you win? Okay, wait, but wait. Did you win? What? What? Hold, on, hold on. Can I say? Can I'm I say? Can I say one thing? Hamza, Hamza, Hamza. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Let me. Let me just say. Did let me just say win. one thing. Let me just say one thing, guys. Let me just say one thing. I want. I want you guys because Patrick and, and and Hamza, you guys are watching the game. I want you guys to speak about Jude Bellingham because I don't know why. I looked at my Twitter. TL. He's, he's getting hella stick. No, no, but he's oh, getting hella sick. He, he's I don't know why player. people are just talking bad about him on the TL, bro. Uh, I think it's because it's because of the media. I think the media set him up. The media set him up. The media set him up. You know, they were like, you know, like it's said with Sky, BD Sports. It was all Jude. What's Jude going to do? He came to this game and he did nothing. Let me be honest with you, though. Uh, He's like he's lucky. Uh, Hamza is right. I know Hamza is goes off. Bro, he uh, dived. Uh, epic thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like he's like well, no, he yellow. What the hell are yeah. we doing? Where's the justice? Yeah. Like, uh, you know, bro, can I tell you about Jude Bellingham uh, when he was at Dortmund? Because I can talk about Bellingham when he was at Dortmund, right? You see, mm. Bellingham, like, don't get me wrong, Bellingham he, when he when he, he can turn up. But the problem with Bellingham, yeah, when it matters most, you'll see moments of him complaining, whinging. More, he did it against us. I remember. We beat yeah. uh, Dortmund 3-2, and all he complained about was uh, the penalty incident. And I was like, bro, are you serious now? 
It's, it's like we paid. He thinks we paid refs to win. Like, it. yeah, it was that, that, what... that. It was shocking, man. It was that Rodrigo I mean, uh, and uh, Rodrigo and. I haven't uh, said a word for about ahead, fifteen ahead. minutes. Um, I wanted to say one thing. Um, Man City's defense can be got at, and um, for the people that Thank were you, yeah. criticizing Kyle Walker today, if Kyle Walker was playing today, Man City would have won the game. Yeah, you're right. You needed Kyle Walker. Yeah. For every Man City fan that don't know football and don't know ball, and you say, Kyle Walker, make mistakes. Kyle Walker is very beneficial in games like this. Kyle Walker would have stopped all this counter-attack. Kyle Walker doesn't ball watch. John Stones and Diaz today, if people know, they were ball watching. You guys played football. You know what I'm talking about, ball watching? Yeah. They were watching the pass being made behind them without following the runner or knowing that someone is running behind them, which has been a theme for Manchester City lately. It has been a theme for all the defenders at Manchester City. This has been going on forever. You conceding three is 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 strange to be honest. However, you have clutch. I'm saying what Foden did. By the way, Foden ghosted today. But then I'm gonna have the same energy for Foden that I have for Salah for Saka. Thank you. I was he about popped, to ask that. He popped up when it mattered. Clutch popped moment. up when it mattered. Clutch. Moment when we the, have when we say Salah doesn't have good games and he scores the goal, Phil Foden today, to be honest, he was he ghosted. He had a terrible game, and you got, I don't know if you guys agree with not. In the first half, until he scored, he was non-existent. He was bodied off the ball. He was non-existent. But when it mattered, he popped up with a wonder goal, mm. like at the end, a wonder goal. You can win a man of the match for this goal if it wasn't for Gavardi scoring a better goal than him. Mm. So that's when it matters. This is a player when it matters. Like, to be honest, like Bukai Saka today, that goal he scored was fantastic. A brilliant goal. These are the top players. For Manchester City, to be honest, Rodri, you ha we have to have a talk about Rodri. The guy was, I don't know what you guys think, he was atrocious today. Oh, the first half, no, it was bad. Yeah, it, was bad. It, was, it was bad. It was bad, Patrick. Like, Bernardo was... Silva also. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Bernardo no, Bernardo Silva wasn't bad, Patrick. He was the one carrying. He gave away the ball. He Bernardo gave away the ball. Bernardo Silva was coming. Rodri today, and people won't talk about it. Rodri today, to be honest, giving the ball away, getting dribbled around like he's like 35 years old. No, no, no. Rio isn't that bad. Uh, Hamza, Hamza, B, B, no, he was giving the ball away. Yeah, you're right. And he was but... dribbled around, bro. First Kama half was, bad. was First running half was around bad. him like he was non-existent, bro. First what half are you was talking bad. about? And the first half was bad, bro. But anyway, to be honest with you, that proves that Man City are still favorite. Coventry was good. I don't know what you guys think about the, the return leg. I'm not saying it's a full-on conclusion. I was just bantering. It's um, this is still a game. We have seen people go to the Etihad and, and get a draw or a one win. Like I don't, I haven't seen people win, but this Real Madrid team at the Etihad, they might be able to take it to extra time because I think they have the quality. And uh, to be honest, I actually think that this Man City team, if it wasn't for individual brilliance, Man City team would have lost the game. The if game plan. The deflection. They would have drawn that. <laughs> no, Hamza, the... Hamza. To be honest oh. with you, they created more chances than you. If I'm not mistaken, am I yeah, wrong? But that's what we wanted. We the, that's they had a game plan of sitting back and hitting us in the counter. Yeah, and and, and it succeeded. They succeeded. That, in the it. first goal was lucky, no doubt about it. That was a massive deflection. They created two one and ones right after this, Hamza. Two one and ones. And this is what happened. I've le more. I've learned from it. You know what's the most painful game I've ever watched? When I used to be in the Champions League. I had them 4-3 here. They robbed me 4-3. It traumatized me. I've never watched it. I should have rocked them nine. I missed my chances. But guess what? When they took me there, they took their chances. When you have great... Op in the yeah, when, you, when league, you have good individuals have like Manchester chances. City, like Bernardo Silva, a moment of genius. You can't count that as a chance. Foden, to be honest, that was a good chance, but that's a moment of genius. Gavardiol, you're not telling me that you're going to the game relying on your left back, left mm -hmm. center back, to Especially. score a banger with the right foot. Like you cannot tell yeah, me that Pep Guardiola, but, but Pep Guardiola sat in the but, in the lecture before Mo. the game and said, no, 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 no. In, in, the the same same breath, the right in the same breath, in the same breath, can I can I just can I just stand up? Can I just stand up for City for a second? In the yeah. Champions League. It, it, you rely on moments of brilliance. 100%. You rely on moments of brilliance. So the fact that City are still able to come up with these moments 100%. of brilliance shows that they are dangerous. And 100%. I think I think when, when Real Madrid come to them at the Etihad, I think there's going to be more moments of brilliance from Manchester yeah. City than 100%. I think Real Madrid will produce. That's just my personal opinion. I agree with you. I, That's why I, I said I City 3-3 are the favourites to win the tie.
Yeah, so, but more also know, those moments, those moments in this game. Uh, this is what this is why I'm 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 laughing because more I was sweating. I said Walker without Walker they're going to target that right hand side and they did it and they kept on targeting the wings and they kept on switching. If Vinicius actually switched when this side Rodrigo went, I want to get some from this side. The thing is, this is without Ake in the wings, without uh, Walker in the wings, who are training individually, by the way. And I think Walker could have come back according to the rumors, but I think they didn't want to risk him. Mm -hmm. I just look at I just look at this Madrid team for the fact that they don't even have a striker. I know they brought that other guy in. I uh, I'm looking at that game more those moments where we were actually dominating them and playing yeah, them and ripping the, them apart we, a bit. But I'm just saying yeah. that's yeah. not even the best city can give them because the best city is yet to come at yeah. the Etihad and the best players when yeah. Aki comes back and Walker comes back. I think if that's Madrid's best shot and that was their best shot, I think so. I think they're in trouble. I'm they, just saying they, they are in uh, trouble. They I have, think it might suit them to sit back a little bit though. Like yeah, I, I, I don't, don't have Courtois. I don't have Courtois this time. They're gonna have Courtois. No, they no, won't. Go Courtois no. tore his, uh, his meniscus. To, uh, Courtois. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They won't have Courtois. Remember, Courtois ah. saved them at the ATA for the four yeah. nil, and the other times it was Courtois who saved them multiple times. At, I just feel like it was, I think it that was, was the best to be honest with you, This the game is, showed the quality of Vinicius, Rodrigo, Valverde. These guys no. are like, come on, like, like, Foden, and then you can take from the other side, Foden, Bernardo right. Silva, class. To be honest, absolutely, like. No, and and, and many teams, if they're two one down in the Bernabeu, they capitulate. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. When, you know when they played that Madrid, Madrid, Madrid. Yeah. I mean, you think, oh, okay, you're trying that, 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 that. What you tried two wanna... years ago, are you? Yeah, yeah. You're trying what you did two years ago. <laughs> Allah, Allah, we never Allah, forgot. Allah, Allah. 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 Man City fans are like, like they're like we signed the center back that can actually score goals and. But anyway, I want to go back to Arsenal before I do the super chats, guys. I'm just gonna Let's go back talk to Arsenal. about Haaland today. What happened? Nothing. Yeah, because uh, because because they were. I don't know whose mic that is. Whose mic is doing this? I don't know. Hold on. No, Patrick. Patrick. Mine, Patrick. Is mute. Mine, Mine is on mute. Mine is on mute. Mine is on mute. I think it's Patrick. Anyway, listen, guys, over 800 people here. I'm expecting nothing less than 500 likes, guys. Hit that like button, people. We're bringing you absolutely, uh, like, elite content. Daily here. Daily here. Going back to Arsenal. Penalty incidents for both sides. Number one, I'm going to start with Saka. Anybody think that was a penalty? No, yes. I'm sorry. Tough, yes, it was. Yes, it was. Can I? Can I? Can I just? Can I just personally go? Just because I wanna. I just wanna. I just wanna is say. It Dio's mic. No, it's not. That I think it's not. It's not my mic. All these haters in the Dio comments. Is, is the elite. All these, elite all these haters guys. that can't. I, you. Dio is a fuck. professional. I'll tell. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Guys in the penalty. chat, let me know. Yes or no? Was it a penalty? Say if, penalty or no penalty. Go ahead, Sad. I'll tell you why it's a penalty. If you have played football at any level. And you run with the ball that fast, and you try and change direction. What is going to happen to your to your leg? What is going to happen? Your leg is going to go up. Your leg is going to go up no matter what. Now let's look at let's look at how let's that's let's look at, no no that's that's fine. However high it went up, it doesn't matter, bro. Let's just look at Noya, yeah. <laughs> Noya moving towards the ball. He didn't go towards Saka. He moved towards mm. the ball. So he's put his foot in front of Saka's foot in some, in front of Saka's leg, taken taken Saka's leg through. When Saka is trying to get back onto, he he's gone and tried to jump over um, Noya. He's tried to land on his foot and try and carry on, try and carry on running. Noya's taking him out. Even then, when he gets taken out, he's trying to still get the ball with his left foot. He's still trying to grab the ball with his left foot. Is that a player that's diving? I don't that's think the so. Key for me, the keeper still I don't was, think so. he's moving his foot still. You know what it is, yeah? You know what it is, yeah? Neuer, he runs out, yeah? And obviously, Saka is one on one. I think, by the way, Neuer, that was a ballsy move from him. I know Neuer does this a lot and it works most of the time, but that was ballsy in that moment, right? You see Saka is going on his left hand side, left, so he can try to cut in. And Neuer catches him. Yes, he does catch him. But the problem is, yeah, is that while he gets caught out, it's he's still with the ball. He didn't need to put it like that high. Like, 
The fact that he put his leg out high, as Neuer hit it, it, it's tough, man. I, I don't. I get the contact. He's got to get it over his leg. That's, like that's Neuer's what, leg what, is still moving when Saka hits him. And look at the speed. Look at. Uh, can we? Can we just? Oh my can god! We just understand I just the speed that is. Oh my god! Saka. Oh okay. I'm just not guys, gonna say it. I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna show it to you after <laughs> Sad. There's a clear video. Saka literally looked at the ball, looked at yep. Neuer, and instead of going left, he literally yep. jumped right side. Did you watch the same no, video, Hamza? So. Yes, no, 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 no. Don't tell me. I'm gonna oh send you all the link. I'm gonna yalla, send you. Yalla, I'm yalla. gonna send you all the link, so people don't say I'm like. By the way, for the first time, I thought it might have been a penalty. I'm gonna put the link in the private chat for everyone. Who is legs towards Neuer's leg? Bro, he jumps towards Neuer. Neuer's leg is still moving. Yeah, Neuer's leg is not yeah. yes, planted. planted. And instead of going left, he literally yeah. went to Neuer. I know Neuer is still moving. He's going at full speed. How does he turn no, 90 not. degrees of the he, ball? He, the he ball cut, goes okay. that way. Martin, Martin, he cut left. He cut left and then went to the right side. Watch the video I sent you. He cut left <laughs> and then jumped to the right side. It's very easy. Guys, just watch the video I sent you. There is an uh, angle that is okay. very do simple we, and shows do we realize? Do we realize that when someone's traveling that fast, yeah? When someone no, is running right. that fast, right. if they try to go, if they try to go to the left, do you realize... Bro, are we? Oh my God! It's we, very obvious what now. Do we, he died. Do we this expect? Is, no. Okay, I am so, not. Listen, so this is. You this know is that. I am not coming with an agenda. I'm just going to say that there's no agenda. No, I, I watched it now. What... I watched it now. No. By the way, it's the first. He should have been given. I actually watched this angle. I've seen all angles now. I've seen all angles now. Okay, I've seen all angles. He's right. Look at the that video. I've seen that video. Okay, you can clearly see. Before Noor even touches him, the man is trying to go for the. Fight. So you're telling me that you're telling me that this is the first player in history to dive and land back on his leg. I see. I see how diving works because you're looking for a penalty. I never said dive. If, no, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. No, he just he. I don't care what Ahmed says. Everybody's calling the dive. What I'm saying is every. It's not a dive. Everybody's called it a dive. Saka initiated the contact dive. Point. 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 Listen, Emmanuel Noor's leg was still in motion. What are we talking about here? Yeah. His leg was still in motion. Let's go back and look at it. Let's not even look at the video. I, he I, sent I, you I agree though. with this. Let's, yes. let's not act crazy. Look at this. His leg is still moving. Look at every frame oh going God. forward. His leg is still moving. And I'll contact it in the him. video. It's still okay. It's all I'm gonna legs. tell you is that let me let what me I'm just tell you about. one thing. This, this, I'm looking at it now. The fact that we can't decide that if we didn't give it on the field, right? I think that if we should have went to the monitor, I'm gonna be the same. Same as yes. every single stream. I agree. The referee should have went but to the I monitor agree. and decide for himself because there was contact. As I said for Liverpool, as I said for Harvey Elliott the other day against Manchester United, as I said before for Kai Havertz and for the penalties. That I, and I said for Gabriel Jesus, you remember Sad when I told you that since the since uh, Tarek Lamptey touched the ball, the referee should have went to the monitor to at least see the amount of touch. Yeah, but because I the referee standing right I there, I actually the think the video. that the referee should have went to see the VAR. That's his mind. But you're standing about, close. Yeah. You saw where he was standing. Maybe because you're standing. But he didn't. Right there. Okay, I'm gonna tell you one thing, Patrick. He will not be able to sell that Saka initiated the contact. I don't think he saw what happened. The VAR should have told him you have to go to the monitor. Did the VAR yeah, check it because it was kind of yeah, weird. Yeah, they did. Like, they, 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 they did the check the it. They did check it. The VAR, the VAR in this, the, the referee, the referee, the, the VAR good. checked it, guys. The referee, and them. He the referee, the, the referee. Hold on, hold on. The referee, the referee was good. I think the VAR in this was shocking because there were so was many. The there was, there was no, no. I, I think the referee was at, was at, for for his first knockout game. He was he oh, was yeah. he was with the players. He had authority. He was telling them. He was booking players properly when players needed to be booked. That's why I say the the referee was good. Now, what I say from this point of view, yeah. Is that the VAR was shocking because the VAR there were so many things in that game that they were just looking over, they were just breezing through them real quick. The, this is VAR checks that are taking two seconds, bro. VAR checks can't take two seconds, bro. Sit down and actually review it. You're supposed to be a visual assistant referee. You're supposed to review the 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 situation and then advise the referee. Yo, stop the game. Because we're actually reviewing this and it could actually be something. So that's what should have happened. As, as soon as that happens, they have to stop the game. They have to tell the referee, stop the game, review it. If, it, if, it, if they still don't think it's a penalty, that's fine. 
I don't care. We we didn't perform very very the, well the it, in, in the game Sam, anyway. They checked it. They but checked it, the, no no, it's the speed of the check. That's what the problem is for yeah, me. That's Why is it so then. quick? Why is it so fast? But I just look at it. Look at over stuff. I hear him. Yeah, it happens to a lot in many games. You know another issue I have in general, right? I, I, this what is the rules for penalty checks and for like handballs? Because one week it's this, another week it's that. Like which one is it? You know what I mean? One week you hear it's about the contact, another one you'll hear about it's not about the contact, about the intention before the contact. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all over. I the would place, say that, like, I don't want the game to be like remembered for the penalty. I think that if we'd got the penalty, it wouldn't have been deserved. I think we did well to get back to 2 2. If we'd been 2 1 and you guys, we would go into the Allianz with a, a loss, like 2 1 down or 3 1 down, I'd say we've got no chance. But we've given ourselves a lifeline for the second leg. And yeah, there was a handball thing that the I don't know, should have been called on Gabriel and those guys. It's kind of about the same as the penalty. Yeah, so I, I don't really think it. we should be focused on it. Like, it's it's probably not the biggest thing. Like, I think Bayern played a very smart game. Those guys, like, they were actually, they weren't as bad as everyone had been saying they were. Like, I don't know. Like, there was nothing wrong with that Bayern team. All of the attackers were very sharp. And they put pressure and, uh, on us. Can I say something about the, the line? Really I want to say something before I get Dai on. I know Dai wants to speak on it. I actually was with Hussam on a watch along before. And I'm going to do the super chats after this, after Dai speaks on it. Uh, and we're also going to speak a little bit about the Bayern incident, which is absolutely, this one is as equal as the goal that did not stand for Liverpool in the league against Spurs. This is bad on them that they made that mistake, that they didn't call that penalty. Which Raya one? passed it to Gabriel. That should have been called. He didn't call it. He made a mistake. That is a horrific mistake. This guy there, should... was some, um, there was and like it wasn't clear that the there was actually 66 play minutes. The referee point, said right? it was a restart. He said he did a restart. No, I mean, the referee know. told them it was a they said a it was well, he said I can't give restart. this in the he said I can't give this in the quarter final of the Champions League. No, I, that, I just read that Fabrizio sentence by out. itself is atrocious. You know, Apparently, you know, you know what? I can't... Say that again? He's a kid they want to give it. That's crazy. I, yeah, I, I mean, like, I, I, I want to hear him, guys. I want to hear what Ahmed says. Go ahead. So apparently, I, as a Fabrizio, because he did post about this, I was looking through Twitter while you guys were discussing, right? And apparently, it's because it's a, he didn't want to. He wanted to give this kid a chance. What? <laughs> That's I don't know. Who wanted to give Who wanted to give what a chance? Know. Who wanted I think to give like basically, he wants to give Gabriel a chance because he's inexperienced. That's the whole idea. Like it's it's stupid. It's genuinely. This stupid. is absolutely horrendous mistake by the referees. This is her guys. This is her, This is this can be a rent like this. This can decide the time. Anyway, both penalties. I want to move on from from the penalties. On Arsenal, though, I was actually looking at the lineup, and I actually think because we don't watch the Bundesliga, but I'm talking about Bayern Munich in the Champions League dial. Kimmich, Goretzka, Sane, Serge Nabry, Harry Kane. Apart from Bakai Saka in the front line, two of these other guys would start for Arsenal, 100%. And it doesn't matter how bad they are in the league, by the way. We guys, the Champions League is a different sport. Man City will tell you this. They were smoking the league and they were getting knocked out by Lyon and Monaco. It's different. But there's only Kimmich. one way to learn that, right? Like, I think that... 100%, I agree, I agree with you, you Mark. 100%, you have, you, have you have to go and play the game. You have to go and play the game. You have to learn, yes. There is no there is no one that can tell me you're going to take lectures about the <laughs> Champions League. No, no, no. You have to go, play, yeah. learn. Which is, I think, actually, Arteta will learn from this game. He might actually have a much better game in the Allianz Arena. He might. You know what I mean? I don't think the initiative will be on us. And I think that that's what I was trying to say earlier is that we didn't set up to be very attacking or very defensive. We were kind of like trying to do both. And it just, I don't know, it wasn't so really people like... people don't believe that, Martin? I think, I think we... I think, experience. I think, I think we no, went... I just I, think... I think, I think that's wrong. I think, I think we went extreme. I think we went extreme attacking. You could tell by how many defenders. The line was very high. Am I how, how, far, how far the defenders were... were yeah, how yeah. high the defenders were sitting... It was extreme attack. It was like, you know, in FIFA, when you're playing FIFA and you got ultra attacking, that's how it was. Literally, the no, line was so high. When we started Zinchenko, that would have been, that would have been attacking. Like, when we saw Zinchenko come on, we no, got no, the possession that we needed and we weren't even connecting to our left side. Don't interrupt me for a sec, Seth. 
Okay. We didn't even touch Martinelli on the left-hand side for the whole first half. Like, we couldn't get the ball up there. It was Saka and Odegaard. It was on, like, a repeat. And once we got Zinchenko on, which everyone was worried about making errors, he was the one which is actually fine. And we got the possession we needed to actually cut forward. So, I don't know. It was I, kind of like a hero there. I can't lie. I think... I think. Sorry, Ahmed. Let me, let me just say this one thing. Yeah, uh, we... we the, the way we were high, you're you're focusing on the the personnel that started, yeah. That's not that's not us being defensive, because even though we had that defensive personnel on the pitch, we still held the high line. You can have all the defenders you want, and you if you're holding a high line, that means you want to play attacking. That means that you want to put as much pressure as you can on the team. Now. I think the reason why we didn't go to Martinelli as much is because as soon as we started going on that right side and Alfonso Davies and um, Dyer were a mess. At one point, they were just kicking the ball out and just trying to get as far away from their box as Davies possible. Davies was a mess as and, well. And, 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 and the fact that they were a mess, we continued continuously went down that down that right side because not only was, was they a mess, also Alfonso Davies got a yellow card, which makes him... Absolute number one target for us to try and get him sent off. I think that's why they went down the right side. And He's missing the next game, by the way. Right yeah, I wanna, guys, yeah. How can we? Have... I'm happy about. I'm actually happy about. Generally, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, play, he doesn't want to play. It's very obvious he didn't want to play. Guys, how do we have 600 votes and only 300 likes? Like, how do you <laughs> vote and don't like the video? It's a lot like, of angry you like people. Like the freaking the video. Like the damn video, people. Like the video. I don't know who's doing Ballon d'Or. Uh, let me do the super chats before we continue, guys. <laughs> I want to appreciate everyone that sent the super chat. Guys, let me go through the super chats quickly. If there is something that is targeted to someone, we'll answer it. Thank you, everybody that is sending a super chat. We'll do that. We'll, we'll do all of them now. Albi Mitchell is saying, Bayern's penalty was more obvious. Come on now. I agree 100%, guys. It's a mistake by the referee. At least the other one is... Yeah, you can actually debate it. But thank you, Albi, for this. Uchi is saying the issue was after the first goal, and instead of pressing counter simple, Arteta was naive. It's not just the errors. No one underestimated them. Arteta was naive. He thought he would control the game after the first goal. Am I wrong, Dayo? I mean, he, was naive, he, he was naive from the very beginning. I said that. I said the thing is, he didn't underestimate them. He thought that if we played a certain way, we would get the better of them. That's not underestimating. That's like take it to the Giants and try to kill them quickly. That's yeah. exactly what Arteta wanted. To and do. you got the chance. Uh, right? I, like, I think you actually uh, underestimate us a little bit. No, 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 no. Let me tell you what. Listen, if we underestimated you, right? If we literally underestimated you, knowing Arsenal, the occasion got the best of them. You could tell originally from the very beginning. But Arteta told them this time around, play your game. Like, play the Arsenal game, which is high press, go, get the goals in the first 25, 30 minutes, get one or two goals, and, and, and then try, we'll try to pin them back. Then we'll depend on our defense. What I was saying is he should have started with, defend, depending on his defense, to, to deflate you guys at the Emirates for the first 25, 30 minutes, pop in a couple of goals, then go back and, def, you know, depend on his defense again. So, so for me, I think, yeah, yeah, he was, it's not, nobody underestimated you. Because this narrative that you guys want to create, that Arsenal underestimated, Arsenal... Arsenal fans that were saying that they were going to beat Bayern were saying it based off of Bayern's current form. And at the same time, they were told, your form does not qualify. It, it doesn't translate to the UCL. It doesn't yeah. matter how you're playing in the league. It doesn't translate in yeah. the UCL. So that's the difference. We can be playing great football in our league, but then when we come to the UCL, play badly. <laughs> it's, 100%. It, it, yeah, so, Let me yeah, do the next one. Mohamed Farah, sorry, sorry. Mohamed Farah is saying, why Arsenal can't defeat this week Bayern team? Bayern weren't weak today. Better than I thought. Some of our players done better than I expected. They wouldn't weak. Jack Howe is saying you are fraud, said Arteta overtaking Klopp. <laughs> Jack <laughs> Howe, that's not what they said. They said if Arteta wins, if he wins a Champions League and the Premiership in the same year, then you overtake. Nobody said it's like it's like you people don't listen to <laughs> understand, you just listen to respond. But keep sending the super chat. <laughs> don't send, don't listen to more. Did you guys see the tweet? Oh my god, I'm getting a lot of smoke. I'm getting a lot of smoke. I'm getting cussed, bro. I'm getting like cussed everywhere on Twitter now. It's Hamza, did you see the tweet? I just saw it now. I was laughing, you fraud. You were lucky I was at work. I do my god, you are double for money. Let me better see this, bro. That's you didn't see it, sad. No, I'm watching. I'm gonna go to it. Guys, now. if you haven't checked the Twitter, this is why we get so Twitter. much heat. We got people saying what happens if we win the double? Is it better than the treble? We, we got to get past Bayern first. Yes. 
Kilkester is saying pretty elite game from man called Barbie doll. Elite game. Yeah. Absolutely elite. To be honest, he was very, very good, Kilkester. Thank you so much. Onif <laughs> Ahmed. <laughs> Let me finish him and then you can talk about whoever. What was Raya man. doing for the first goal, Edith? The occasion, guys. The occasion. The occasion. Yeah, yeah. Concentration. <laughs> Focus. Brentford, he Brentford. wasn't focused. He was he wasn't focused, but thank you. Absolutely. Unib, thank you so much. Andrew saying Arsenal players picking up the ball in the box. 100 percent the penalty. Big yeah, mistake yeah, by the referee. But again, it's I'm not sure if it's a mistake he missed it, or he really thought that I can't give this penalty. People will laugh at me. But but Mo, the thing is, I'm not even trying to protect it because I I, th I it genuinely looks like a penalty to me, yeah. But there's so many times in games that where they do that. Like, Raya will put the ball down, but he'll be like, actually, no, I'm going to pass it to him, and he he's going to put the ball down. I'm they they, they do that in the Premier League. Link, if they, anyone has a link, please send it yeah, to me. I've got the link. I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. Uchi is saying, Kivior was exposed because of tactics. Arteta to blame. I actually disagree with everyone, guys, and I'm going to say my opinion about this. If Zinchenko started and Sonny exposed him, you would have said, oh, why did you start him? I think if, Tomiyasu. If Tomiyasu started, started and he lacks fitness. You guys said, oh, Tomiyasu, oh my God, he didn't play enough. There is no win. There was not going to be a win. Kivior is the player in form for Arsenal at left back in the Premier League. He started him. Right decision. Why are we beating around the bushes? The guy is in form in the league. People are uh, saying, what, what do you mean? Sing lyrical, lyrical, whatever you guys say that. Masterclass from Q and all that right? stuff. Oh yeah. my God! Oh, Kivior has improved a lot, and there were videos about should should Zinchenko start when he comes back. Come on, don't yeah. be naive, guys. You know that. Teta got the tactics right. He found the, the Bayern the... robbed Bayern and Havertz. People people came here and said Jesus. Oh come on, Havertz is on form now. Bayern okay. robbed. Saka dived. Dio lied. Okay, so let me address you again, Pacman. If you're going to, if you're, if you're going to speak to me, don't don't say I lied because I didn't lie about anything. Don't don't come online where there's multiple people calling me a liar. If you don't know how to use your super chat, use it wisely. I, I don't. That's why I start. I responded to you in the chat. The next time you insult me, I will give it back to you in the chat. I, I'm not one of those people. Do you understand? All right. Thank you, Dio. <laughs> Thank you, Pacman, for the super chat. Really appreciate you, buddy. Um, uh, Quirt is saying, can't wait for Hamza's monologue. His monologue was elite. Absolutely elite. I didn't talk about Arsenal, you know? This Not yet. Man, this man, waiting this for man you. said... Let, wait, wait. You're going to talk about Arsenal? We'll give you the mic to talk about Arsenal after the Super Chats. <laughs> Ahmed, your expressions is how I feel about Hamza. Oh, my God. <laughs> ben is a buyer fan. Guys, I was Hamza laughing when he was speaking. I think Hamza I is elite. Uh, James is saying, how do you feel about Grealish? Get, Grealish, the good man of the match. For you. Yeah, I think... What? Grealish. Ford didn't go for you for Champions League. But I don't, James, no, I don't think Grealish got man of the match. Yeah, Phil Ford and Ford. 100%. Thank you so much. And uh, people underestimate Tuchel. Weak Bayern, they say. Tuchel, I, winner I, I, of the I, I, Champions I, I, League, finalist of the Champions League, two cup finals, lost to penalties against a mighty Liverpool that was going for a quad. So, do not ever... Can, have more can I address something? Yeah, it's like... Go We're ahead. all talking about Arteta, but nobody's talking about Thomas Tuchel as well for us in this game, right? He's a fraud. Like, this is it. Yeah, let me address something, okay? So no. Thomas Tuchel, he in, in the second half, he subbed off uh, Koma, no, no, Sani for Koma, right? And then by a few minutes later, Gnabry gets hurt. He gets subbed off. I was expecting Matisse Tell to come on because Matisse Tell can like create chance out of nothing. He's young, he's active and everything. Instead, he brings on Guerrero. And he puts Guerrero left wing and keeps Davies left back. I'm like, how does that make sense? It's the fact that he makes dumb decisions why we underestimate Thomas Tuchel. Yeah. 100%. And like sometimes no pattern of play in anything that he's coaching. Nothing. There's nothing going forward. And our defense is exposed because he wants to go attacking with the system that he plays. It doesn't make any sense at all, man. It doesn't. Ben is saying, sad. If Saka won was a penalty, then Gabriel touched the ball in the box, equal a penalty. You agree? It's a handball. If you I've, say I've now penalty, do you yeah. have to say Gabriel is a penalty? Period. 
listen, I've I've now gone back and looked because a lot of people were saying to me, "Oh, he blew the whistle," but he did. He blew the whistle, so it is a penalty. It's a penalty because the referee the referee blew the whistle, and then the ball was on the floor, and Raya was in front of it. So Raya should have kicked it away or passed it to Gabriel. Gabriel picked it up, so it's one hundred percent a penalty. It's a pen. Now the pen. I saw it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm. I didn't hear the whistle go off. I was watching it muted because I didn't actually see it in the game with all the emotion and that. So, yeah, it was, it was a penalty, guys. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and bullshit. I, I, okay. no, I'm Zenical, not Zenical is saying not a lot of people picked up on judge behave like a child today. Jude behave like a child <laughs> today. Doesn't have La Liga refs. Uh, rimming him, he was, he was so, so unprofessional. Shit. Patrick and yeah, Hansen, he was, he was, he, he was, was so bro. He should have been suspended. Fuck, do you know how many times he kept diving? Like, well, I thought, even me, bro, Brazilians, man, I'm thinking, yo, well, I every time they I can't had the did this to Rodrigo, he rolled on the floor holding. I'm thinking, you have to give that as a yellow. What are you doing? He died twice, twice he died. He then got involved in the altercation, asking a, a yellow card for our player. Doing this, do you get a yellow card to do that? More. If I did that, are you not yeah, supposed uh, to get a yellow? Not, not in Europe. It's only in the Premier League, bro. But he died twice. He then tackled up, bro. The, the referee just said, "Yo, bro, we don't. You have to play in the Etihad. You have to play." He was bad today. Let me let me finish this and then give you the mic. That's the point. Thank you, Ahmed. I am pissed off that. Oh, thank you. He's talking about the substitution. Does Dayu think Bayern should have had a penalty? Yeah, Dayu just said. Yes, yes, I think they should. I saw, I saw it in real time in the game, and I was like, "Oops, oops!" I was waiting yeah. for the referee. I literally was waiting. I was like, "Ah!" But then uh, when he didn't blow, I was like, "Hey, you know what? It is what it is." But I also do think Bukayo's was a penalty too. So for me, it would have still ended three three if we both. I was a little bit confused penalty. with that penalty because I, I, I think it was for a foul. It wasn't actually supposed to be played as a corner. So I don't know. I think no, no, it was a goal. It was a goal kick. It was a goal kick. Raya had the ball. Put the ball yeah, down. Goal the kick. So the referee blew P. Raya should have kicked the ball. Raya passed the ball to Gabriel. Gabriel then mm. caught the ball on the floor, picked it up, and set it back down. Again, yeah. Has that ever been called? Yeah, but the ever... whistle blew by then. I just that's saw what I'm saying. I'm saying that's what I'm saying. I'm saying the referee blew the whistle. Raya then passed the ball to Gabriel. So the whistle had mm. gone. Boom. He passed the ball. Then Gabriel picked it up, which was a foul. Boom. It should have been a foul. Was so that an indirect free kick and not BM, a BM? I don't know. Well, the pen who's, in the box. B, who's BM? Who's Must be arresting players. Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich. Must be arresting players this weekend. Oh, uh, Bayern Munich. Can, 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 can I say something on Bayern? Just a small thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. You guys, Arsenal well, fans, you're going to have to be very careful with this Bayern team. You know why? Because last season, right, City were oh. actually incredible. Like, we were actually better, very good defensively, like you guys. And we were way better than Bayern. But Bayern still showed up at the stadium and we Yo, drew 1-1. Yeah, it still went 1-1 one, one, and they were dangerous. I, 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 so, I think if Arsenal no. goes through, I think if Arsenal... Oh, let, me finish, can I finish, you, let me finish I the Super Chat. Hamza, that, I have to finish the Super Chat and, and then with that, and then you can talk. Mohamed Farah is saying, Forza Inter, we could have beaten this Arsenal in the Champions League, probably, <laughs> but we got knocked out oh, by, by, by freaking Atletico Madrid. Uh, so we have to hold that now. <laughs> Yeah, we have to is. just sit. We have to sit on the side and just watch. Klopp smashed Bayern home and away and won the Champions League level. No Let me just tell you something, Jack. You comparing Klopp with uh, uh, with uh, what's uh, you comparing Klopp with Liverpool team that was in the final the year before he won the Champions League with Arteta and a team that is their first time ever to play in the Champions League is an insult to Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool. It's not the other way around. It's, it's literally an insult. It's it's like, it's literally... A, like, do you get what I mean? Arteta, never coached in the Champions League knockout stages like before Porto. New team. Fourth year in managerial. Fourth full year. Reach a quarter final. Drew up uh, with Bayern Munich. He's making mistake. Don't compare him to Jurgen Klopp. What he's, what he's doing right now, what he's doing right now is basically comparing himself. He's a manager at a job, yeah? He makes good money. He's comparing himself to a rookie who just started in a new job, making minimum wage and just started with the new wage. Have some shame, bro. Have some shame, man. James is saying, talking about on City's own man of the match vote. Oh, so let me tell you how this works. I am I am going to take the mic off Hamza because this is footy judge Mo, not footy judge Hamza or footy judge Patrick. Jack Grealish is protected. Oh my God, our Jack Grealish guy. Oh my God, the funny guy from the North. The nice guy. He has to get man of the match. He had an assist against Gavardiol. The guy was tripping on his knees, couldn't stand, passed it to Gavardiol, and Gavardiol had an absolutely brilliant 
and an amazing, an amazing uh, uh, goal. So I'm sorry. This is not, it, it, he's not man of the match for me. Yes, I strongly agree with Ahmed about Nabri issue. Yeah, that he, he definitely made a mistake, Ben. He made a terrible mistake. But how can he know that Nabri would have gotten injured? I thought uh, Sani... The problem is, Ms. Momo, the, the problem is, okay, like now you have Matisse Tell. You just brought on Kingsley Coman for Sane. And you have Davies and left back, who by the way played awfully. If you were going to bring Guerrero, bring him on for Davies and then bring Tell on for, you know what I mean? Because I, my opinion, I think Arsenal's defense, the way they played mm -hmm. in that game, were there for the taking if Tell was on. Honestly. That's the way yeah. I see it. Just for the sake of Jack Grealish. Uh, hey, Dayo Alman. Hey, Dayo Ansant. Hey, hello, JJ Lloyd. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Anyway, Hamza, you wanted to speak on Arsenal before Dayo because Dayo has to go. And I wanted yeah, to speak on yeah, Arsenal just, and then I get Dayo's guys, take. These guys were saying, oh, listen, no fans in the stadium. This is the weakest Bayern Munich side I've ever seen in my life, probably. I watch, and I watch with Stefan Effenbach, Jens Jeremis. Write them down because you've never heard of them. Mario Basla. You've Which never club heard are you of supporting them? Yeah, those guys. Giovanni Elder. I watch those guys all the way back then. I know their heritage. Yeah, you came out there, no farms. Oh, this is a week. They had it easy for you. We warned you. You bought nearly bought today against a Porto, a third place team. No, it's all about a win. As long as we go through, you wanted flowers. Most coming out in his channel. Terry is telling you in his channel, oh, don't worry. Oh, we love I never you. said that. You, You're I so never good. said that. Don't lie. <laughs> Amazing. Look at your man. Why do you guys hate Arsenal? Why do you guys hate Arsenal? And we come out here and say, yo, leopard doesn't change your spots. Leopard doesn't change. There's a leopard. There's a leopard. There's a leopard. There's a leopard. And you guys are not believing us. We're telling you facts. We're telling you have to have the heritage in Europe. You what have to. You cannot buy in Munich. This sorry, is sorry, sorry. Can I say something, please? One second. I'm sorry, I, I'm going to let you finish. You said... Uh, I'm going to let you finish, Hamza. I know that you, you, don't, you don't like people to cut you in the monologue. I just saw the stats of Haaland completing six passes in 90 minutes. Go ahead, Hamza. Great strikers. Great strikers. Uh, they can still... It doesn't matter. They can have a bad game, but they'll still go through. <laughs> yeah? Listen. At the end of the day... Oh, you know, it's crazy. The I, deflection. I, they though. came out there, no fans. Atete's masterclass. Salim and Gabriel, the best centre-back in the world. Oh, how many Bayern players can make into our team? And I sat down there and I said, if Bayern get a draw, this is the worst Bayern team that lost 3 0 to Bayern Leverkusen. The Hayden, Hayden Wayne, or whatever it is, Hayden something, Hayden High. Yeah, Hayden High. Yeah, beat them. Dortmund beat them. Yeah, they had teams like, is it where the Bremen beat them? Basel. Virgil Bremen beat us. Yep, yep. Virgil yeah. Bremen, uh, Bolcom. Frankfurt beat them 5 1. Eintrick Frankfurt. Beat them. Now you're sitting there. Okay. Hamza, you know you Hamza, you know you tied. Hamza, sure you know you tied. Do you do you realize do you realize that you played a draw? Hamza. Do you realize Hamza? Do you realize that you played a draw? They're begging for a penalty when they're star boy. You know more. Do you realize that you played a draw? Don't talk about Saka. Don't talk about Saka. Saka actually did very well. Saka was good. We cannot cut each other. One on one talk. We can we're gonna can hear. Let yes, it, Hamza, don't yeah. talk about Saka because Saka was actually the best no, player on the pitch. Second, one he of the best players. Goal. Shameful, well, like shameful. He was thrown on goal. What a shame. He was thrown on goal. He and scored a goal, he though. Came, and he thought, <laughs> I will die rather than pull his team through and win that game. That Saka, is Saka, shocking. Saka scored a goal. Great what players you don't do that. What are you saying? Only Saka a player scored a goal, Saka scored a goal brother. A goal and the mm -hmm. statistics to win a game. That's, this Bayern team is Hamza, shocking. Hamza, Hamza, Bro, Hamza, one second. Hamza. This Bayern stop, team stop this, stop is this, so shocking. Stop this, stop this. You this know, this you Bayern team is game. so shocking. You know you tied your game. Dio, Dio, let him finish and then but you can I, respond to him. Dio. He never finishes. Was it? I've, He's going to yeah, finish at listen, some point. I'm, I'm, listen, know, I'm allowed to talk because I've got the Champions League. I'm the one that's got the trophy. <laughs> you have no trophy. At the end of the day, today's performance showed Leroy Sané should have done a clever thing. You know what Leroy Sané made a mistake? I love it. You throw and go. They clip you. You go down, bro. Ten men down. They they should have. If Leroy Sané went through, you remember when he was throw and go? He got nearly tripped. Yeah. I'm going down. I'm saying, yo, ten men. Let's do it. But Leroy Sané stayed because he's a man of pride, man. I mean, he's brought up in Manchester. 
you know, and, and he stood up. Well. He cooked these guys. If they pride, pride. Yeah, Leroy Sane stays on the pitch. He's their daddy. Leroy oh, Sane is Arsenal's daddy. They know about Leroy Sane. He dumped to them. Today. He went there. He went there. Arsenal man, fans, when we warned you, when we warned you, you are not good enough against Porto. You struggle against a Pepe, 42-year-old defender. Wendell got locked up by Saka. We warned you. You're just not good enough. You're here for vibes. Everyone's laughing. So you're saying we should have beaten Bayern, but we're not good enough to be to here. Bayern. Like, which one is it? You know what? I died so hard. You can't, you can't have both. My man Bayern, talked about Nero. I expect to see. Let's see you deliver to the worst Bayern team. Okay, I'm okay, Hamza, you know, okay, Hamza, okay, see, Hamza, 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 you had all Hamza, the odds Hamza, on your side. You Hamza, had all the players Hamza, that had Coleman was Hamza. injured this season. Gnabry's just come from injury. Leroy Sané is have a stinking season. Yeah, crazy. They're, they're all available when they, they play. Arsenal, all over the place. This Bayern team Hamza. came there, and and people were mocking them. It goes making tweet. Oh, if Bayern are training, like, these guys were warming up in a hotel. They were warming up. Who who so warms up in a hotel? They had a hotel so lobby. They were warming up. You go to him. Yeah. Oh, With they don't Watson. have aura. They don't. You don't have an aura. You got battered by a team that's ten two. You talked about revenge. What revenge did you do? There was zero revenge you could do. Now you're going back there. Oh, you know now I respect <laughs> your flip flop merchants because your manager has never done in Europe. My manager gave him a certificate. He's never been to this place. The only place he's been to is he's lost the Europa League last season to Sporting Lisbon. And you, you expect we can win the double. Mo said it. There was no Champions League. I dare I never you. said they can win the double. Uh, yeah. Don't, don't put words in my mouth. I dare you to buy it. Don't put words in my mouth. I dare you to buy it. Don't do it. I dare you to buy it. I am the only content creator out there. I'm going to let you speak. I'm the only one out there. Sad can vouch for me that told Arsenal fans it's not as easy as what you think. I'm the only one that told Arsenal fans it's not as easy as you Why think. Why has Ahmed got glasses? Bro, so, bro they could have... <laughs> listen, one second. I'm 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 now. I'm now. Last take. Last take. Last take. Last take. Last take. This was set up for them. They had the worst group stage teams I've ever seen in a Champions League. What about your group stage? a Champions League group. Lawrence, what was your group? What was your group? What was your group? Yeah, that's what was your group? You had COVID what was your group, though? Like in the round of 16. Side. They struggled to the worst. Hands up. What was your group? They lost to Lons what was your group? 14 in, in, in French football. They lost to a French football 13 players. They struggled to Porto. Oh, Easy is good. Wow, Everyone prayed for Porto. I need one one company. Everyone prayed for Porto. Hamza, they had you Porto. Now you they had the worst Bayern Munich team. Everyone wanted Bayern Munich. Yeah, they got by exactly you. Everyone want to buy a You don't have coronas. You don't have an aura. Your football shirt is a joke. Yeah, your yeah. football club. Is, if your greatest player couldn't do in the Champions League, why should we believe? So that that, that same time? team got oh, four points team, against you. Team. That, that sad, same team got four sad, points against sad, you. Meanwhile, sad, you got dumped on, out, sad, bro. Sad, sad, hold on. So sad, what? What on. now? Sad, hold on. Sad, hold on. Hamza, you're such a fraud. What's going on now? Hamza, you are such a fraud. Ahmed is moving. You are well. such a you are it's such true. a fraud to the extent that you want to write the the, the cold takes of, 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 of Bayern. Yeah. You you want you want you want to write the cold takes the cold tales of Bayern. You that you could not beat me three times this season. You said we are useless. We're a bad team. We're not supposed to be here, but yet you want us to beat Bayern. Which is it? Are we a useless team that should not be here, or a team that is good enough to beat Bayern? Because at this stage, you're talking through both sides of your mouth, leaking engine oil from one side and gasoline from the other side. Like what? What exactly is your is your point? You say Arsenal is terrible. Arsenal should not be there. Arsenal is not supposed to be there. Hamza, let him talk. Hamza, let him talk. In one, in one, in one, in one sentence, you're like Arsenal should not be here. Arsenal is such a ru rubbish team. In the next sentence, Arsenal should have should have beat Bayern. Which is it? Which is it? Which is it? Pick one. Pick a struggle. Pick a battle. You, because you, you because you listen, 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 no, 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 no. Because you that you're talking. Remember you, you, you. Remember you tied your game. It's not like you won. Did you win today? Did you win today? Hey, be quiet. Did you win? Shh, shh. Did you win? Yeah, nobody won. Answer yes or no. Did you win? Yes or no? That's all I want to hear. Did Give you me an answer. It? Did you win? Did you win? Yes or no? You bottled you... it. I don't, I don't care where you were. I don't, to... I don't care if you're in my backyard. I don't care if you're in my backyard. You are the Did you win? No fans. Did you win? win? Did you win? Did you win? Listen, Did you, Hamza, Did you Hamza, win? Hamza, 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 stop, stop dodging questions. This is what Man City fans do. They project, they project their own their own insecurities 
Uh, 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 careful, careful. Don't say Man City fans because it's not the whole squad. Okay, let me put this is what Hamza did. 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 Man City fan does. Project his own insecurities and the things that he sees in his club on other people. You are here comparing Pep Guardiola and Ateta. Ateta, who is a coach that is barely five years old with Pep's many years of experience. You are here comparing Klopp. And you're comparing Tuchel, coaches that have been in the game long, over double digits of years, against uh, Ateta. You are here comparing a team that literally competed for the league for the first time in 20 years last year and bottled it against everybody. But when you want to talk about them, you say, they're such a crap team, but yet they're supposed to come here and beat us. But again, let me refer back to this season. Have you beaten me this season, Man City? Let me tell you something, right? If by some miracle in an alternative universe, Arsenal somehow beats Bayern, by some miracle, I want you to qualify. Miracle. Because I need Yes, listen, miracle. Hey, listen, you stop. expect to be a miracle listen, stop, to beat the world's by mini team. Stop. According to you, hey, according to you, according, family, listen, 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 Hamza, Hamza, according to you, we're not supposed to be here, so it, it should take a miracle, because I'm using your words. According to you, we are useless, so a miracle is the only thing, based on your logic and your word, is the only way Arsenal can qualify. This and if we do, bias. listen, 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 and if we do, if we do by some miracle, based on your logic, I want to meet you, because you, you haven't beaten me this Oh, morning. so you want me I'll to come back to a team that I'll not to hide the mind? I you want to imagine the team that's been lost to hide them and five. Hold on, listen, hold on. Listen. I'm, I'm Dio, telling, Can I just can I on, just add on, one on. more I, thing? Let me not finish. I'm no, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm go simply ahead. telling you, right, that if by some miracle, based on your logic, you have said Arsenal is we're here for vibes. They're not supposed to be here. We're a useless team. They're not good enough. Arteta is not good enough. Great. I agree with your logic. It means that it's only take it's going to going to take a miracle for us to be able to beat this Bayern team as bad as they are based on your logic and if by some miracle it happens i want you to beat madrid because this season you haven't beaten me and i want you again in semi-finals thank you for the easy road to the final because if we do get there i'm wiping you again you man city i'm wiping you again confirmed Hamza, can, I, can i just can i just can i just talk a little bit guys can can I, I, just, no, hold, uh, no, 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 no no one second one second one man city one arsenal one man city one arsenal come on i i will let wallah i'll let patrick speak wallah patrick i'm very sorry brother i'm very sorry patrick i just need to ask one thing hamza keeps on sitting here and saying this is the worst bayern munich team this bayern munich team has not changed from last year that versed him that came up against him. The only thing that's changed is they got a striker this time. A striker that can actually do the job and that can actually score goals for them. So are you telling me that last year in your treble winning season, did you come up against this shit Bayern Munich team and you tried to make it out like as if you did something big? You came can up against a shit context, Bayern Munich team. Can I tell you the context though? Can I tell you the context though if you don't mind? The context was then, we just got in Tuchel after ha having Nagelsmann sacked, right? And we only had a little bit of time to prepare for Man City with under Tuchel. Now we have all the time in the world to prepare for Arsenal with two. So it's, so not it's kind of different. Yeah, we got weaker, of course. But what I'm trying to say is They're that so there is a difference to an extent. You know what I'm saying? They're so weak. They've never been to this position. It's the worst point in the position. Bundesliga, I think, for 20-something years. They've yeah, never lost to some yeah. teams that ever lost before. Isn't, haven't they got Their more players points? Players not played cohesively. They're struggling. They're struggling even to string two or three passes. Since I'm telling you now, yeah. you keep getting the easiest team. Porto was a joke. Porto third in Portuguese league. What about Copenhagen? They, they were one moment, moment third in the Bundesliga. Then you want to talk about Bayern last year was the dangerous team. When we got Bayern, we respected them. I knew even allies. I swear I never even, I never even broke my fast. I broke my fast with that day and I drank one. You know what? Because I have respect. I have respect yeah, on Hamza, my Hamza, Hamza, when you drew us, Hamza, Hamza, sorry. When you drew us, we had Nogum. So you had to respect us because by then we were unbeaten. Like, we didn't concede any goals but two against Wolf Pilsen. And then we sacked Tuchel and then all of a sudden everything switched. So of course you were going to respect us. But now we're worse. They were never going to respect us. That's what I'm saying. This is the worst buying. Go on, go on. I, I, I've got a question for Hamza. In 2000, or was it 2001 when Henri went to the Bernabeu and we beat them? Yeah. What team were you supporting then? I was supporting City. Because, yeah. and you, you I was waiting for your downfall uh, because you wanted the Champions League final and you lost to Barcelona and I celebrated that day. That you, you, weren't singing, right, okay. you weren't supporting Barcelona? I loved huh? it. Raika did the... the, did the bro, I, bro. Are you joking? I you talk about shameless fans, but you have to be the most shameless fan I've ever met. 
No, I'm just being honest. You have to have the head. You have to respect. I respect <laughs> Madrid at, at, at the Etihad. But Arsenal fans coming out here as if they will get experience in the Champions League. Arsenal yeah, fans, do. they don't have experience. It's too yeah, big. We do. From a long I time this, ago. I just, this, this, team, this team, this team we don't. Because your fan base, your fan base. Hamza, this team player, doesn't. Your manager, this team doesn't. But as a club, we definitely have experience yeah. in the Champions League, bro. Please. Let's, let's not. Talk that bullshit, bro, please. I think you're going to burn a, uh, to, to, to what's the name? You're going to Allianz Arena. I'm telling you now. Now they got the fans. Give us a now score prediction. Fans. Yeah. I, I dare you. I dare Give you. Give us a score prediction. Me. Nine minutes. Me. What Give us saying? a prediction. Yeah, yeah. What are you saying? Watch Put pressure watch on me. Okay, I'm watch. <laughs> what? I'm saying something nice is going to happen. Something nice is happening. To us? Well, I have a question. Is this guy going to score a hat trick? Who's that? Okay. Kane, Who's that Kane. guy? Is that Kane? Kane, um, yeah. Kane, yeah, demon Kane, bro. You don't get the joke. Oh, oh, Patrick, dead. I wanted you to. to I'm to, dead. To I didn't even clock that, that, bro. Don't oh, oh, you know, you know what? No, 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 let, let, Let's go back to Paul Ball. I mean, I, you know, I, I, more I like this. You, you have serious segment, then you throw a segment where it's just comedy. <laughs> That's how the people like it. There is banter. There is football. I know, I know. I, I like it. it. That's what I'm saying. I like it. That's why I sit back in the back and listen to this. Look, if I talk about um. Both games, I'm pretty sure uh, Arsenal fans, if I was an Arsenal fan right now, if I was in the situation, every time you see a tie and you have to play at home first, you say, look, we have to make sure that we come with a good result instead of going elsewhere away. So I'm pretty sure right now, maybe Arsenal fans, I don't want to speak on your behalf, but I would be shaking a bit saying, you know what, we should have done something. But it is what it is. A draw is a draw. You go to uh, to the stadium, maybe you might do something. But as I said, they were difficult for us last season. I thought we were going to beat them again away, but they shocked us and they tried. Yes, Haaland missed the pen, but trust me, Bayern came to fight. For Man City, more, I know you're saying, I know you were saying that the tie is already done. To be honest with you, I'm happy, as I say, that the fact that we went there without Walker and Ake, we went there without Edison, uh, we went there without De Bruyne, and we still got a 3 3. Yes, we're leading twice and we let it go. I don't think. They uh, Madrid scored against us, they'll do the same if Walker and Ake and Edison come back. That's going to be a different game. And De Bruyne coming back, I think, will be a very different change because Haaland, if I'm being honest, I'm, I'm not being a Man City fan, Haaland was stinking. Uh, he stunk that game. Should he be you benched? Know I was disappointed, should he be benched? I was getting somewhere there. I already said uh, De Bruyne should bench. People wanted to kill me in the last Christopher Rice game after he scored that nice goal. They came after me. Uh, I was disappointed with Haaland. One thing, Hamza. I know we're City fans, and I know we have to back Hamza. Uh, no, we have to back Haaland. And a lot of people in the chat keep saying, oh, oh, just as soon as you say you don't back this City player in this certain game, oh, you don't know ball. Let's be honest. Today, it was too many in defence, right? And within how many minutes, Hamza? Just a few minutes, too many got a yellow card. So too many is a midfielder side. And if you're a striker like Haaland, who should you be attaching yourself to? Too many, because he's on the yellow. And he was very rushed. As soon as Grish went on goal, Chumeni showed that he's not a centre-back. He made it a very dangerous tackle. Holland, as a striker you are, and how I respect you, how did you not target Chumeni at all? And how did you not make it? This this was a makeshift defence. Come on, do That's what I was expecting, for him to do something. But guess what? Holland was nowhere to be seen. There was a point in time when I was watching the game, I was like, where is Holland? I was trying to find exactly where Holland is. His work rate was good. What do you think about his work rate? Like, I, you yeah, you, know. you're talking about you're talking about the moment where he tracked back. That's the only moment. Yeah, he tracked back. He got the thing. Yeah, but but okay. Hamza, let's, Hamza, let, Hamza, let me give you this. If, the, if we had uh, if we had Alvarez, in I think the, that uh, that defense Madrid are more scared are gonna be in more trouble than Holland today. Holland was non-existent. It's been happening in games this season, and the thing about people is, as I said, they get emotional. Oh, you're right. Supplying him chances. Let's. Patrick, I know. Do you think that they didn't create. The thing is, we we're passing the ball side to side, side, and he's making the movement. We were. Yeah, but today he didn't even he didn't even make more of no. those dangerous runs. He, he does. He made the, the movement, but they don't pick him up. That's a problem. Nah, I no, think, really, I didn't. I didn't I see much. I, I don't know. I, he. I think he's stuck. And that's I, I okay, this. Tell me a chance that we created for. At one point, four then was through on goal. He could have passed to 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 Haaland. Haaland is one on one with the keeper. But yeah, can I also did... can I also say something? This is the thing also. When you are having a game like that as a striker, I think he has to also learn to try to get involved into oh, the game. Oh. Yeah, try get involved. Because, today. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is what it is. Uh, look, uh, Hamza, I'm not trying to say he's a bad yeah, yeah, striker. True. I'm just saying I think sometimes don't just become a statue and take advantage because 
it also brings me back to the time when we played Man United uh, that season where Luke Shaw was centre back. I thought Haaland was gonna eat Luke Shaw. He failed. Luke Shaw pocketed Haaland. Come on, man. Let's just was, be serious. Was, this was. guy. Yeah. Okay. No, did it. Look, it's just it hasn't been great for Haaland this season. And you know what? As I said, I'm only happy that uh, coming back to the Etihad, De Bruyne. Inshallah is going to be fit. And let's not forget about Walker is going to be fit. And maybe Ake will be fit. And then I think City will have a, a better opportunity. I think he didn't want to play De Bruyne today. I think De Bruyne was all right. No, no, he was, uh, he had, no, he was, he was sick. sick. Apparently, he was vomiting. Oh, all right. Thing. Oh, yeah. right. Let me do these super chats because they and are directed Modric to some people. Modric gave me sure. <laughs> let, me do some, let me do some of these super chats because I really need to see... Oh, hi, Dion. So, Dan Carlito saying, a little respect for Arteta for the second half subs. Oh, Gabriel Jesus, that goal. Very good. Assist. Oh, and my word. Fly, yeah. This is Gabriel Jesus at his best. That yeah, goal. I, I, I was in shock. Fantastic. I was in shock. The way he was, he was just literally drifting through those defenders you know and then just what's lay bad? off. Oh, I'm sorry, Sat. I'm that's shocked that I'm delicting Arsenal. Well. Eric oh. Dyer and Delict should not have yeah, been eaten yeah. alive. And you saw that. Lyman yeah, is yeah. good. Oh, like Goretzka was eaten alive. No, 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 no. Don't let's... Uh, Mo, don't... Lyman is that. not great. Lyman was good today. Lyman yeah, had Lymer a very, very good, good game. Yeah, you know, Lyman was good today, but he's generally not good. Generally, um, no, uh, no, but I'm talking about today. Today, I, on the day, he yeah, was very rest? good. Oh, he could have, can, I, can I read the rest? He could have well, you went. said a false, bro. You said you said you said a false statement, bro. You said Lima was shit. No, no, I didn't say comment on it. It's my channel. I can say whatever. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I think Sane was subbed off because he looked like out of energy, <laughs> right? Like he was... Wait, wait a minute, Mo. Did you say a false statement and say because it's your channel, you can say a false statement? Yeah, I just hey, I want to finish the super chat. I want to stick. Hey. The, I want to stick <laughs> Dan, who <laughs> sent his, he spent his money yeah, ahead, support the channel. Yeah, he could have easily went out there to stop the bleeding and be pragmatic, but he went for it a hundred percent. That Zinchenko sub proves that he just went for it. Because that, uh, would have, he would have said, I was leaking from that side. I'm going to put Tomiyasu mm. or another defender. No, he went for Zinchenko, who's more offensive. Hats off to him, to be honest. Jack Howe is saying, Amorim, LFC manager, cooked Arteta too, bro. Last season, he did. Fart yes. Teta. Fact, Farteta. Yeah. Uh, Joanne yes. Brown didn't send anything. Thank you so much for the donation and for the super chat. Uh, he sent another one. He's saying, Hamza is very annoying. Hamza is fantastic. What are we talking Hold about? That Hold fraud. that Hamza. <laughs> Gave up 79% position versus Man City. Why do you have chest, Dio? Gave up 79% possession versus Man City. Why do I have chest? Of course I have chest. Man City didn't beat me. You have 79 Take your 79% possession. Take it to the um, uh, authorities and say, I have won the game. Take your 79% oh, possession. Well. No, no. I, I, would, I, would, I, I want to understand what... Why, when we had possession against you, February of 2023, when we came to the Etihad and we had 65% possession, did you not beat us 3-1? Possession doesn't determine the game. 4-1, 4-1. Came... Yeah, sorry, 4-1. Oh, yeah. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, 4-1. In fact, even Thanks, worse. Bro. Can you imagine? We don't have possession. He beat us. We don't have possession. He beat us. So, so JJ bro. Lloyd, JJ Lloyd, <laughs> possession doesn't win, matter bro. if you don't do anything. In fact, it's more a shame on you, JJ Lloyd, that your team had 29% possession and could do nothing with it against the team that had 20-something, 21% possession. If you had all that position, I think JJ and, Lloyd is Liverpool. There's like not, roaming gangs of Liverpool fans. And you could on not the convert it. Yeah, you could not convert your whole possession into something tangible. It says more about you than it says about us. After all, we're pretenders. We're not supposed to be here. You are the real deal. You are the treble winners. You are the all Wait almighty. until the next one because the next one is even. Um, uh, <laughs> first, Dio, shut it. Okay, whatever. Uh, you said you were winning. City drew away, and you drew at home. Fair enough. Arsenal fans are so full of themselves. League position is nothing to do with the Champions League. Hold that. I said that was the first thing I said. I said your your no, league form will not, no, Dario, not at the beginning. At Dario, the beginning. You, you literally yeah. told Hamza. You kept asking Hamza, "Did you win? Did you win?" No, 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 no. Them no, 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 don't do this. No, no, don't do this. No, no, don't do this. I do this. I am not. So embarrassing. I will not allow you to do this. Bro. I will not allow you to do that. The first thing I said was. The first thing I said was, it doesn't matter how you're playing in your league. It doesn't translate to your UCL form. Did I say that oh, a lot, Ahmed? Did okay. I not say that at the beginning of the stream, the start of the stream, you did. 
At the beginning it's of the stream, I said that. Yes. I said that. Yeah. But Dayo, Dayo, to I be honest, that. you literally, you t- literally asked Hamza, did you win today? No, no, then I asked go, him that. I asked him Dayo, that because he kept on sentence. talking nonsense. You literally told him, mm-hmm. did you uh, did you win or did you did not win? Them, they are third in the Premier League. They went to mm-hmm. the Bernabeu against the mm-hmm. first Wait, team in the third? Are Man, Man City, City third? Oh, yeah, okay. No, just checking. Uh, yes, uh, nine days off. Man City are third. <laughs> but, uh, but Real Madrid basically won La Liga. They had rest and they drew 3-3 against a good Real Madrid team. You drew at home shameful. against Bayern Munich. That's so let shameful. Me yeah, let me finish. I was, I was just saying it. <laughs> when he stressed you, it, you drew, day. to be honest, today, and mm-hmm. I'm, this is no agenda, nothing, guys. Today is more of a loss to Arsenal than it is for Man City at all, guys. Nobody can argue this. No, but that's not, the, uh, that's not the question that, we, that I'm responding to. You, what you're saying is you're talking about a whole totally different thing about how it feels. We both drew, but for us, it feels more like a loss because we're going away. For them, it feels more like a win because they're coming to the Etihad. So I yes, understand of course, all, that's listen, it. I, I, more, more, I understand all that. What that super chat said, hold it back up. I'm responding directly to that super chat and not to the feeling to honest, of how to the honest, game to get is. It, to, to get, let's to get let's, 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 let's stay in again. the pocket of conversation. It's, it's absolutely horrendous to get that super chat back up again. I need to go up. So wait, no, it's funny because City fans seem very happy with drawing away at the Bernabeu, but we're not allowed to feel happy about drawing away at Man City, especially when people exactly. told us that we weren't going to be top of the league. And then we look at we're top of the league. We didn't have to win at Man City, so yeah. But can I tell you the difference? Let's be honest. It was a loss for both of us. That draw is a loss for both of us. It's a loss for you guys. You're third. We're we're first. Good. So now, so this is what they said. I said we were. I said we were winning. Yes, which is which was my prediction. My prediction was wrong. You said three one. Yeah, I said three one. My prediction was wrong, and yeah, I hold that. But at the end of the day, everybody else predicted theirs, and they were wrong. It was a tie. So, so if, if we if we if we come to the Etihad and we tie, and if we tie at home today to Bayern, even though I expected us to win, I've already criticized the boys. I've criticized Ateta's um, strategy at the beginning of the stream. I said it. Ateta set us up wrongly, as far as I'm concerned. But to sit there when your team as well, Man City drew, and then you, your your excuse now is because it's at the Bernabeu. I've played at the Bernabeu three times. I guess I guess I faced Real Madrid head to head three times as Arsenal. Never lost to them, never. So and you have lost to them last season. So if you want to start talking about even head to head, no, we didn't lose last season. No, no, no. If if you want, no, this season as well. Two seasons ago, whatever. But if you want to talk about head to head, I've never lost to them. So if you want to start bringing out all these facts and you want us to go back and go forward, we can do it. The bottom line is today we all drew our game. Everybody drew their game. We're going ah, to the next second leg. Uh, what is so uh, Yeah, but yeah, uh, but your job, but Dio, Dio, I'm not just saying this because uh, I'm a Bayern fan and we're playing against you and all that. But I'm genuinely serious when I say this. You drawing against us is actually a bad thing for you. I'm being honest. It's generally a bad I didn't thing. Say, I didn't say it. Got it, Dio. You, who do you, like? I want to finish the super chats and then I'm gonna ask the last question of the show. Insecure, kiss my treble. Also, <laughs> Bayern were one of the most informed teams in Europe this time last year. All Arsenal fans can talk about is City. Actually, we're not Bayern, talking about City. Bayern no, under Nantes, man, we were actually okay. We were actually okay under Nantes. Uh, by right. the way, uh, Man City won against uh, Thomas Tuchel last year. It wasn't Nantes. We, we, we also won. lost in the Champions League final against Thomas Tuchel, so let's not. <laughs> <laughs> so, Zinical, I'm sorry. Oh, that's wait. not true. But... The, but again, you guys comparing Man City to Arsenal is some is shameless. There's no Holland has to play like Drogba. He will be a beast. Holland and Drogba in one sentence is. Uh... I know this is ridiculous. No, but Holland is 22, so let's not. Uh, he will learn. He will I will. Learn. I will. I know. I was sure that Holland will learn. He will learn how to cross. He will learn how to play football. He will learn how to pass. He will learn a lot of things. A hundred percent. Definitely learn how to play it's football and triple the ball. The professor Hamza is the goat. Cook this man's. Oh, thank you. Hamza is always the goat. I actually enjoy his monologues. To be honest, too, people say, "Oh, they were Hamza is great because he's funny." And he's great in talk, and he never stops, and he never trembles. Oh, I like him. African cats, die your shameless boy, Oga. You said you were winning. Yeah, that's my own prediction now. I'm not the one on the pitch playing, and if yeah, we don't what, win... What was the prediction for Bayern, Dio? What was your prediction? I, I was like, we should be able to beat them 2-0 at the Emirates. I was like, we should be able to hold the 2-0 two, two at the Emirates, and then go, go and face our demons at the Alliance. Because for me, the Alliance Arena, for me, and what I said was this. I said, if we play defensively the way we should play, and just get our goals because we know we can't get goals at home and but they have no fans, you know. Things were literally lined up for us to be able to at least get a goal or two. 
right? Which I felt like without those mistakes that we made today, if we had been able to get 2-0, then we go face them. Because over there, we have to play our life out to defend against them. If, we think, we're if nah, we think yeah. we're going to go over there and score a goal or two at the Alliance Arena, we're joking. That's what I said on the stream yesterday, before the game today. Mm. So my prediction was like, if we could hold them to a 2-0 because we had home advantage for at any cost, just make sure we have a lead. Yeah. I didn't want to tie. I wanted a lead because I know going there is not... In fact, forget, next week is... is my statement exactly was, I would rather go and step on brimstone and fire than go to the Alliance Arena and play them because I don't care how badly they're playing. This is the Champions League. That's what I said yesterday. So Yeah, yeah. Ikram. Ikram is saying Eid Mubarak Mo first day in Shawal. Is that if I'm not mistaken? See oh. in, in Malaysia. Big up uh, Kulam yeah. Muntubkhir. Big up Ikram. Eid yes. Mubarak to you and all your family. I hope all of you guys have a blessed day and a blessed day. Thank you so much, Ikram, for this. And the last one is saying Klazin, Klazif Ifen, Klaz Ifen, saying man gave a confident prediction 3 1. We know who he's talking about. Uh, Drew came on the terrace and wanted praise for the draw. You actually ridiculous, Dayo. Did you uh, want no. praise? You never want. I, 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 I never say. said that. You see, this is why I never, be... I never believed that Dayo went to ask for there. praise. Did I ask for praise? I, what did I, I say? I, I, I was a witness. I was a witness. More this man. He this did. Man, Dio, I was the first time we met each other. He told me, mm -hmm. Patrick, I'm coming to the ATR to slap you three one. Yes. He says, clip this. Oh, says, you're clip talking this. about that. Mm -hmm. oh, you're talking yes, yeah. No. So yes. and then and then when we lost, what did I say? I mean, sorry, when we drew, what did I say? I said at least we did not come and lose to you. I didn't ask for any praise. By the way, coming from. Clav FM, a Chelsea fan. You know what? Uh, uh, what is actually ridiculous is spending a billion dollars on players and being in 12th position. That That's what's politician. ridiculous. You're a politician. You know That's what's ridiculous. This politician. This man is a politician. Anyway, uh, listen, yeah. people. This has been absolutely elite stream. Hard luck to Arsenal. Last thing is that do, do anybody here predict? Predict not hope. Predict Arsenal winning this time now. Yeah. I, I don't Total. think we're, I don't think we're winning at the I don't think we're winning at the alliance personally. I, I don't think we're winning on penalties. I think we go through zero, zero penalties. I'll take it. So basically, no, we're saying Manchester no. City in the final. That's what we're saying. Nah, Manchester keep keep stop final. stop throwing us that those that, that thing because I'm. Uh, no, no. By the way, if you are if you we serious, go through, Patrick? you're smoking us. You're smoking us. I'm telling you now, if we go through against Man City you're, or Madrid, we're getting smoked. In the chat, people, yes or no? Are Arsenal winning? Not hope. Not can. I actually think Bayern will go through, and I will be—I wouldn't be that surprised if Arsenal win, but I believe that Bayern now have the edge, about 60-40 over Arsenal. Yeah, they have the edge. I think playing. it's seventy thirty to me. They have the edge. Look, the Alliance are really nice. Yeah, more, yeah, 70, yeah, you guys have—it's seventy thirty for me. Like that place. And it's all they have, isn't it? It's all they have. Yeah, that so, look, that yeah. place that place is oh yeah that's insane to go. Actually, well, our fans are gonna rattle Arsenal. All they have. Like no other. They are. They lost the league. They didn't win the cup. This is yeah, it. That's all they have. This is it's it, everything. Yeah. It's everything, but it's mm -hmm. it's all oh, it's all or nothing. This game for Bayern. Yeah, yeah. By the way, Mo, oh. you need to understand something. Bayern. By the way, Bayern fans. Yeah, these and I'm talking about the German ones, the ones that go to the games. They will rattle anyone, whether they're home, whether they're away. And I'm telling you, Arsenal. I think they're in for some treat, man. I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah. And they are pissed Actually, that they didn't go to yeah. the Emirates. But anyway, I want to appreciate everyone that joined us. Hamza, Patrick, Saad, Brandon, Martin, Ahmad. Fantastic debut, Ahmed, of course, and Dio, the legend Dio, of course, defends for every Arsenal and in, in, in every Arsenal. Team. I love Dio, absolutely. Thank you, everybody that is here. Thank you, everybody that joined us. I really appreciate you all. I really appreciate every super chatter. You guys are absolutely making my day, of course. Thank you so much, super chatters, for absolutely supporting my channel, my humble channel. Thank you, everybody. Tomorrow, we have Dan Potts in the morning and Joe to talk about the rest of the games. Appreciate you guys. And uh, we are out of here, people. Look at Hamza. Happy for you. <laughs> <laughs>